Greetings, kings. Greetings, queens. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings. Welcome to another Mental Roller Deck live. The title is Debunking the Myths and Lies in Religion. We got Sir. We got Baba. We got Balaji. And your pretty and beautiful host, Pache, a.k.a. Gibson. Greetings, greetings. Hey, Queen. Yes. Yes. So, Baba, please start it off. You want me to start it off? Come on, King. It's it's, it's your <laughs> world. We made this happen because of you. Um, okay. Well, I, I I thought my my good my good brother uh, uh, was going sir? to start it off. Yes, sir. We're going to start it off because I, I think the question came up, and the reason we brought the topic up was, it was but and I'm not here to try to be no be no link. We lost him. No, no, he's not lost. He's still okay. Here. Uh, I, I'm dealing with uh, not the linguistics or whatever thing like that, but the word we keep hearing the word Hebrew Israelite, right? Uh -huh. And uh, the question was, I said uh, the word Hebrew, word Hebrew Israelite. The word Hebrew is not a, it's not a person. It's not a noun. It's it's an adjective. And people that claim to be Hebrew Israelite, it's no attack. It's just that. I used to be a member of the group and I and I ran across some information that I want to share. And I'm not, I'm not I'm, like I said, I, I'm, I'm not here to d debate whether it was Yiddish or this, that, and the classic. All I'm looking at is the storyline that people claim that they claim their bloodline to and have not actually have not done the research like I have because I too was there for about six, seven years and I I I expelled the same thought that all black men would was of the lost tribe of Israel, and they were Hebrew Israelite. But I, when I went back and did the research, I found out that because I had a chance to let me throw it out, I had a mm. chance to base. Yeah, uh, it, 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 yeah, I had a chance to start doing my research. I had a chance to study with the rabbinical order there in Dallas, Texas. It's called the Interfaith uh, Society, where you have uh, Jews, Muslims, Christians. And I and all they coming together, and I had a chance to ask some questions, and they couldn't answer my questions. So I wound up doing further research. And what I want to bring to the table, and this is no attack, I'm not here to try to intimidate or anything. I'm here to, we're here for, for scholarly uh, uh, dialogue to learn from each other. And I want to share what I know, and, if, and, and you can agree or disagree. So, what I want to do is, I know the topic is says debunking. The myth and lies in religion. I like to say exploring the myths and legends in religion. And because everybody that claim to be a Hebrew Israelite, they want to connect themselves to Abram, or better known as Abraham, right? And in my and in my research, I found out the story, according to the Jewish myth and legends, that the story of Adam and Eve and Abraham is Jewish mythology. Now I understand the word Jew. The word Jew is not you can't write the word because there's no J in the language. And if and if you ask a Nazi, there is no W. They use Va. They don't say Wa, they say Va. But anyway, what got me started on it was uh, I was going through the text. I don't know how uh my brother feel about uh the apostle Paul. Now apostle Paul in the in the uh, uh Baratta Shah, some people call it the gospel, the Baratta Shah got my attention and uh i think what got my attention was uh was in when he wrote to the galatians there in uh in 54 55 56 ad he wrote to the galatians and he questions their lord in their dedication and if you have a have a bible handy let me start let me start there everybody get a have a king james bible or whatever i want us i want to start there Yes, I, I have a Bible. I have a Bible with me. Okay, you have a Bible. Okay. Okay, okay then I'll, I'd like to interject something. Okay. I'd like to interject something on that. You're talking about Paul. Let me just say something about Paul. I don't, I don't really, because we, 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 when we Paul, I don't really subscribe to the, the letters of Paul, because the letters, 
and we from history we know that in 100 AD, 200 AD, 300 AD, there was no so-called British Akadash, which is called the, the 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 New Testament. There was no New Testament. New Testament came 300 years after after when the people that we are talking about lived in the in the first century. They lived in in the first first century. They live in like fifth AD, six AD, six BC. All those people that you, we are talking about, they didn't live in, in those in those times. You you can't live now. We live in two thousand and twenty, and then two thousand two thousand three hundred, two thousand and three hundred. Someone writes a story about our life. It doesn't work like that. You, you can continue. You can continue with uh, the. Well, what I'm saying is this. What, yeah. uh, what I am saying is this. Uh, according to the, the letters of Paul to the Galatians in 55 to 56 AD, according to the according to the biblical storyline. Now I'm not. Uh, uh, there he made a statement, and from this statement, it made me go start doing research on what he said because a in. In studying anything, there are key words and key statements that you have to look at. Now, I can uh, argue about it ain't that time, but remember, you got to keep everything in its timeline, in its season, in its place. The problem we have a lot of time is we want to take a thing out of another century and bring it here, and there are translations and transliterations and, and alterations have been made to it, and therefore, what it started out, it may not seem, but it is what it is from its origin. So everything has an origin and a beginning. So we have to go back to the beginning because we're dealing with a language that they call English that has run a whole lot of people's interpretation and understanding and understanding what we're doing. So allow me to go to Galatians chapter 4, verse. Now, start 4 and beginning with verses Galatians 4 and 21. Mm -hmm. Galatians 4 and 21. And if any of you on the line want to read, or I can get my queen to read it. From it's probably just from the King James. And I don't know where if uh my brother in okay. the New Testament. I got it. You I have it, Baba. Will you yes, please I do. read what it read what it says? Okay, we're starting with 21, right? Yeah, starting with 21. Okay, so this is Galatians 4, 21st verse. Tell me ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other one by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise, which things are an allegory for these two covenants and the one from Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Hagar. Okay, when I when I run across the word, when I saw that word allegory, because I was a firm mm -hmm. belief that the Bible was the unadulterated word of God, you know, as it was, but certain things began to get my attention. So when I saw the word allegory, it perked mm -hmm. my interest. So I, I went to Rabbi Zimmerman and I asked him about some of these things that Paul was saying about Abraham, about Abram, who later became known as Abraham. So I had a chance to go and uh, look at the word allegory. What is an allegory? I'm going to add, I'm going to ask my queen to give you the etymology or the origin of the word allegory because the key word Paul said these things are an allegory. Okay, well, what is an allegory? definition of allegory the expression by means of symbolic fictional figures and say, actions say okay. that again by fictional what figures fiction fictional figures and actions and actions of truths or generalizations about human existence a writer known for his use of allegory also an instance as in a story or painting okay so it says these things are now it's a fictional character so i began to do research so i went back and went back to the abrahamic story got to do the bloodline going through the bloodline so who was abraham who was abraham's father 
and run it down. And I noticed that my brother posted, I say my brother, uh, uh, Sarah, posted about the sons of Noah, mm -hmm. the sons of Noah. So I went and because I was doing the research, I asked a question. It's a thing called Jewish myths and legends. Jewish myths and legends. So you look up in, in Encyclopedia Britannica, and a lot of people use Britannica because it's a reliable source, they say. So I want to use the source. In, Bat in uh, Encyclopedia Britannica, 1984 edition, volume 10, page 191. I'm going to ask the queen. To, it says Jewish myths and legends. Not the word. Jewish myths mm -hmm. and legends. And everybody, and we know from the Abrahamic so faith, you have uh, Judaism, uh, uh, Christianity, Islam based their connections through Abram, who later the name was changed to Abraham. So what is myth and legend? And where are they basically found that in the text? So according to the reading, will you read from Encyclopedia Britannica, volume 10, page 191? Encyclopedia Britannica, 1984, page 191, Jewish myth and legend. Jewish myth and legend comprises a vast body of stories transmitted over the past 3,000 years in Hebrew and in vernacular dialects. Now they use the word Hebrew. We'll get to that and uh, get to that later on in, 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 in our presentation or our conversation with my beloved brother. But go ahead. This, this is Britannica talking in English, so we say, okay. Such as Yiddish. Such as what? Yiddish. Hebrew, Yiddish. And Ladino. Okay. Spoken by Jews in various parts of the world. Now, we know that everything that we've got now was handed us a letter by the so-called Jewish people, however you want to call them, whether it be Ashkenazi or Sephardic. They're the one that got the story that we're following the Adam and Eve story from. That It's in all the King James Bibles. Or other Bible. Remember this: the King James is not the first book that was written in English. You have, the, if you look at the history of the of the English Bible from the KJV to the NIV, you had writers that was older than the the King James Bible. But everybody seemed to gravitate to the King James. So when I looked at this, and it says Hebrew, Yiddish, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I said, "Wait a minute." So we're going to find out that the stories that's in the that's in the so-called Pentateuch. That's in the Torah. The five books was accredited to a guy by the name of Moses. But what we want to look at right here is this thing here called myths and legends. Where are myths and legends first found at? Myth and legends in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. The vast repertoire of Jewish myths and legends begins with the Old Testament. Okay. Their overall purpose in scripture is to illustrate the ways of God with man as exemplified both in historical events and in personal experience. Mm -hmm. The stories themselves are often derived from current popular lore. They are derived from other popular lore, other folk tales from other groups. They borrow stuff from them and they incorporate them into their story, their narratives, okay? And possess abundant parallels in other cultures, it, it, though they take and borrow from other cultures, and they created these stories, storylines, and they present them to people as if they are there. Why it's called myths and legends. Anybody that studied the book knows that it is based on four things: myth, legends, metaphor, metaphor, and allegories, and dogma. That's how the Bible is written, how it's interpreted. And there are four groups of thought when you come to that book. No attack. Do the research. You see, I'm correct there. So Jewish myth and legends are in the consist of the writing in the Old Testament and where are they basically found at? Read. I got a question for you before you continue. I know you I know you stress the word Abraham and Abraham. Right. Um, what is the difference? I will get that in a minute because when it starts out, it starts at Abram. Later on, mm -hmm. later on, it changed from Abram to Abraham. There's an eight added in the name. And the and the wife name is Soraya. Her name go from Sarai to, to, to Sarah. There are some changes in the writing because what's going on here, there were four different schools of thought that was interpreting and writing this thing. It was called the JEPD, 
These are different schools of thought that was interpreting or writing or translating the so-called Torah of the Pentateuch. And they each put their signature in their writings by putting certain, shall I say, codes in there so you know what you're reading from. Most people mm -hmm. that do not do the study don't know this. Because how could you go from Abram to Abraham when you start mm -hmm. out as being uh, in all the old? So what I want to find, let me slow down because I want to get ahead of myself because this is too important. <laughs> So what you want to look at, if you're going to go back, it starts in Genesis. Well, it, the, well, Genesis is not a Hebrew word. Genesis is a Greek word. Yeah. So, so, but in the in the in the in the alleged Phoenician language of thereabout, it is called Barashit. Not getting to look with it, but I say when I look when I study with them at at, at the uh, at the uh, interfaith there in. Uh, uh, synagogue there in Dallas, these things they taught because I was where I was gonna be like Samuel David Jr. I was converting to be a Jew. Okay. <laughs> you no, know, I can get because I you know I, I want it. But anyway, so we find out that the first 11 chapter, will you please read from me Encyclopedia Britannica. And this is a well-known source of information and research. Everybody used Botanica. So I'm using Botanica. And if you're getting mad, get mad with Botanica because I'm not Botanica. I'm just re quoting what Botanica say this is. So let's read, Queen. Okay, we're still on page 191 of the 1984 Encyclopedia Britannica. In each case, volume 10. Okay. In each case, however, they are given a peculiar and distinctive twist. Okay, myths. Old Testament myths are found mainly in the first 11 chapters of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. So it says the first beginning of the Jewish myth is in the first 11 chapters of the book of Genesis. So where do you find Abram at in Genesis? You find him being announced in the in the 10th chapter of the book of mm -hmm. Genesis. You'll find it right there, a number among some of the descendants of Noah. But what I want to do, since he's a descendant of Noah, let's go back and let's look at something. Uh, I want to go look at Genesis chapter 9, verse 18 and 19. Jay? All right. Genesis 9, 18. Noah's sons. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. Mm -hmm. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. Whoa! You mean eight came over after the flood, and these eight people spread it over the whole, not the word whole, the whole mm -hmm. earth. Where's how the female? Is, yes. How is the whole, what, the whole earth? These the overspread. It said, now I didn't write, it says, and they overspread over not earth, but the whole earth. That means they went everywhere. Yes. These eight people, because everybody put, put been destroyed with the flood, and but eight left according to the Norse story. Ham, Shemp, and Yafet. And they had wives. And they're wives. So, but they went and spread over the whole over the whole earth. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's look at. Read the rest of that. Okay. Uh, Genesis 9 and 20. And Noah began to be a husband man. And he planted a vineyard. And he drank of wine and was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent. I want to buy that because that goes into another story. Let's go to chapter 10 of the same book of Genesis chapter 10. And let's walk through this lineage and see how this thing. Because remember... The first 11 chapters is Jewish myth and legend. This is their story. So let's just yes. see how this thing walk down. So we're going to uh, Genesis chapter 10. It says Noah family record. Noah's family record. Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer and Magog. And Madai and Javan and Tamal and Meshech and Tyrus, and sons of Gomer, as 
as Keshness and Raphath and Togomar and sons of Javan, Javan, El Elisha and Teresh, Kittim and Dogonim. By these are the isles of the Gentiles so divided, these, wait, divided in their the lands. The Gentile, what else? Divided in their lands. Divided in their and land. Everyone after his tongue. After his tongue. After their families after their in family, their nations. And their family. So now we're talking about. So everything. So after that. Now this is one family. He has his tongue and his nations. He's in the thing in the law and the in the eyes of the Gentile. Where is it? Yes. Where is the eyes of the Gentile? Continue. Note the word. They occupied the eyes of the gentile but now they covered the whole earth all right read mm -hmm. and the sons of ham cush and Mizra Mizraim, and foot and canaan and sons of cush seba and havala and sapta and Ra rama and subtecha and sons of rama sheba and dadan and Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be the mighty one in the earth. Wait a minute. He was a mighty. Now we have there's no mention anymore of any dogs or women being born to these folk. Where are they getting these women from? Because remember, you start out, you only have Ham, his wife, Shem and his wife, and uh Yep and his wife. But now these sons are inhabiting an hour, but you hear about um, no daughters being born. So where are these other women coming from? Mm -hmm. Where are they coming from? Don't and, and 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 don't give me that Cain at Cain in the land of Nas. We talking about people are believing this. So was these the only people on the earth? These was the only female because they mentioned no mention of no other females in this storyline. Let's stay with the narrative and the storyline. Okay, where you at now, mm -hmm. uh, Queen? Um, I'm at nine. Okay, continue to read. Okay. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. Now At the who beginning. Was, uh, who is this Lord that he's a mighty hunter before? What is the name of this entity, of this deity that, that Nimrod is a mighty hunter before? And who is who is Nimrod's mother? You got his father, but who is Nimrod's mother? Hmm. Who is Nimrod's mother? All these sons. So here, who is this, this mother? Continue. And the beginning of his kingdom of Babel, Eresh and Akkad and Kalna in the land of Shinar. Out of the land went forth Asher and built it Nevaeh and the city of Rehoboth and Kalah. And resin between Nevaeh and Kalah and the same is a great city. As Mezriam begat Ludum and Anamim and Lebaham and Nef Neftahim. Now you know the word to him means that they brought children in the world. They had they had sex and they brought, but there's no mention of the woman that he was with to bring this on the scene. Where are the women that's having these children? That these sons and grandsons are literally is bringing on the sea to create this, gonna flood this whole earth. No, and the earth is 24 million miles around by the equator. 24 million miles. That's the whole earth. That's the circumference of the whole earth. And you're telling me that eight people is gonna populate the whole earth. Not to be funny, but it's a lot of screwing going on. It's a whole lot of screwing going on. It's a whole yes, lot it is. of going on yeah well okay i understand well they literally be three and four hundred years old even at that that's a whole lot of okay what yeah. now each one of these boys are gonna have their own land and their own town but so you mean that Noah brought some people in the world and each one of his children had a different tongue they didn't speak the same language and what was the language that they spoke because there was no such thing called as Hebrew at this time. This is before Abram is even born and brought on the scene, and the word Hebrew first shows up in the text. Remember, this is all before Abram 
is even brought forth. We'll get there. So Hold the question, on. okay. Hey, hey Kings. Are they there? Uh, sir. Is he hearing me? Yeah, hear right here. I'm here. I'm here. If you guys have any rebuttals or in, interjection, go ahead. You can you can um go ahead and speak. Of course, I've I've got I've got I've got rebuttal to everything you say. I can easily rebuttal <laughs> everything you say. I'd like to ask him a question. Go ahead. I want I want the elder to tell me what's the difference between secular and sacred text. What's the difference between Secular and sacred text. I want him to tell me what's the difference between uh, secular and sacred text. Circular and secular. Uh, 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 secular text. And what's the difference? What's the difference between secular and sacred text? Secular and sacred text. The sacred. Uh, the, the sacred text. You saying the sacred text or the circular text? Yeah. What's the difference? What is the difference between sec secular text and and sacred text? Well, uh, it, uh, uh, what, would, what would be your answer to that? Well, up we call would be sacred. If, if, if you deem a thing sacred, that's up to the individual. You deem it sacred or circular. Circular would be the common language of the day. Circular is something set aside for special use in a temple or religious order. But this is common language we're using today. So we're not into circular or, or class or, or circular or what is what is um, more a sacred text because originally the Bible was written without chapters or verses or labels it was all written out well no such thing as chapters and verses and like it was as we have it now in the king james broke down by chapters and verse there was no verses there was no chapters it was written on an ancient text allegedly and the scribes that wrote it wrote it individually so i want to get into so see that is trying to get me off my, where i'm going so let me let me shift back to where i am because i'm going to stay in the narrative and the storyline we're talking about <clears throat> Let me get a shot of water here. We're talking about a story about Abraham that everybody claimed that they're descended of, and all these tribes came out of. Remember, oh, Elder, Elder, I asked you a question. You have not answered my question. I'm going. No, let, no, me, no. let me. Let me. You I'm said not. you know the Torah. You said you know the Torah. You're 70, 76, 78 years old. You be you studied under the Jewish people. You I, went to the university. My no, people in West Africa, let, no, let me talk, let me talk. I've allowed you to talk for 30 minutes. Let me talk. Can I talk, minutes? please? Go Sidebars. Ahead. Let me interject and give you my sidebar. My question is, who gave this, this Jewish people in, in, for in, in America, Israel, wherever they come from, Europe, the, 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 who gave them the permission for them to write uh, Britannia books, for them to... to, to for them to translate our sacred text into English, into Latin, into 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 Greek, who gave them the, the permission to to translate our sacred text into any any language that you you claim that you're saying that those people they have permission. So since that they you you've given me definitions for most from people that we call Euro gentles. When the stories happened 3,600 years ago, 4 days, 5,600 5, years ago, none of these people were present. They don't know African culture. They don't know Near Eastern culture. They don't know North, Africa, North, East, North East African culture. But the same people that don't know North East African culture, to, to, in, the, in the 19th century, the 20th century, they, become, they became all of a sudden experts in culture that they don't know anything of, on. on. Even my, my brother, Bolgian, is here. He's from the same tribe, or from the same tribe. His tribe in Nigeria is called Yoruba, but it's under the Ebe, ben, ben, Bembi, Ebe, Bembi kingdom and nation. And he knows that there are certain things we're, we're dealing with. We don't, we, we don't, we don't just read texts, because anyone could read texts. In our culture, we can show things in the in we can show things in the in the in the in the culture we show things we don't just read scriptures you we we my, one of my rabbis rabbi Akwati says the one of the quote that he said he said uh, what he said that uh, he said culture over text very important culture over text 
culture over text. That's why I asked your question. What's the, what's the difference between secular and sacred? I had a question. According to, uh, don't ask him a question. It, 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 it refused to no, answer that on, question. On, I'm, 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 I'm going to answer it. I'm trying to figure something. No, no, no. I'm going to let you speak. I'm sorry. I'm going to let you speak. Um, what I just wanted to know, like, what specific answers were you looking for? According, he said he knows the Torah. He's been, stud he's, he's been studying the Torah for years. Okay. And, he, he, and he said that when he was young, he believed that he was a Hebrew Israelite. So he, he, he studied the Torah and, that, and he was living the lifestyle. And last week, he claimed that he knows the difference between he knows Hebrew and the Hebrew, and he knows, be, be, he knows it, the, in, in, he's got, they've got Hebrew in America that they speak, and the Hebrew that they speak in, and the Hebrew that the so-called Jewish people is, that they, 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 they read him from in Israel is Yiddish. So he's going to show me the difference between Hebrew and Yiddish. And I'll go back to the, the question. Most of you will say that sacred text is under the inspiration of the Enkoshma or the Holy Spirit. We carry Leviticus 10 verse 10 and, and that you may distinguish between set apart and not set apart and between clean and unclean. I would like to say something. The, the whole New Testament is not sacred text. It's circular text. So him going to Galatians 4, 20, 21, 22 was, was, was irrelevant. So then to him going to Genesis 9, 18, 20, and then Genesis 10, 1, reading Genesis 10, 1, all the way to Genesis, Genesis 10. And he mentioned in, mentioned in all those people. Because you can mention all those, you, you, you can, Sit down and mention all those people, but all the all the people that is mentioned. When you go to East Africa, we have those. When you go to East Africa, the the Nile, Nilotic people in the Nile with Nile Basin, the Nile region, we have those people in in their culture. We have those names in their cultures and stuff. They've got they have stories in those cultures showing those people that those people live. They don't live. They 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 they. they you, they live. They they don't carry the same names that you that you find in the that you that you they they carry different names because the elders don't understand that you can have a dialect of a language you can have a one language like Yoruba in Nigeria my my brother that's on, on near that I wanted I wanted him to come to come here and and show show us something like you have the Yoruba language just the Yoruba one language you have fifty dialects of the Yoruba language. And when since there are fifty dialects of the Yoruba language, it's just one language. You have fifty dialects of the one language. You speak different dialects of one one language, and since they speak different dialects of one language, the pronunciation of word of certain words they're not the same. They they they, they could never be the same. So the elder quoting Paul, that Paul claims so many things in the Torah, and the people that lived in the first century that Paul was dealing with, the, the so-called Hebrews, those people they didn't they didn't speak they didn't speak Greek, Greek, they didn't speak Latin. And the the language that the Torah the Torah was written in, it was a language that they it was a it was a it was a language that they 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 they, they, they no 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 most of the population they couldn't they couldn't like they spoke the language, but they couldn't write the language, and uh, they they, do, they couldn't write the language, and they, they didn't know how to write the language. So how can the same this claim that Matthew wrote out, out Matthew was a fisherman? He couldn't write the so-called Hebrew. He couldn't write Hebrew. He couldn't read Hebrew. How did Matthew write a book of Matthew in Hebrew, and the same book is translated into 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 Greek and Latin? It doesn't make no sense. Someone is right, can, to, can, can I just quickly interject? Can I just quickly interject, guys? No, I think still in here. Go on. Let me just quickly interject, please, please. Okay. Now, when mm -hmm. we're talking about Hebrew, okay, uh, I believe we can all agree that presently, all right, there are two sets of Hebrews. Okay, we have the ancient Hebrews, okay, of African origin, according to Dr. Morris Fishberg. You know, he said it that there are two sets of Hebrews. We have the ancient Hebrews that are of 
African origin, Negroid in type. And then you have the type B type of um, Hebrews, and that is the Ashkenazim or the um, U um, European Jewry. So now when Baba is talking about he learned Hebrew, which of the Hebrews did you learn? Is it the European or is it the ancient one, which is of African origin? Are you talking to me, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Bob. Yes, Bob. Yes. So we started out studying, and like I said, I don't, I didn't master the language. I started, but I know, I know how to, de how to decipher both because one evolves out of the other one. Uh, I know that uh, in the Bible there's 22 uh, alibiyats in Psalms 119. Now you go, we skipping where I was going with this because you, you you you're trying to get to whether I speak it. I do not speak uh, the the, the so-called Hebrew because the word Hebrew. My word, the word Hebrew shows up in Genesis, the 14th, the 14th chapter, verse 1. The first time that word Hebrew shows up is in that text. Nowhere before that does that word show up. That means that word Hebrew is of a old English origin. If there was a thing as called Hebrew before it showed up in Genesis, the 14th chapter, verse 13. Uh, Shay, will you please go there? Because we're going to jump across this. It's, I'm going to show them. The, I'm showing you the mythology, but you want to jump to the linguistics. I'm not. A, I'm not a linguistic specialist, but I know me, and I barely know English. But I learned how to decipher certain things in the language, in the language. So therefore, I I'm able to understand what I'm looking at. Plus, I have the I have the the both of the Bibles. I have the ancient uh, Phoenician language. And I have what they call the Ashkenazi or uh, the Sephardic uh, uh, Tanakh or uh, Torah, the Torah. Now, okay, I don't, okay. I, I didn't, let me finish. I didn't master any of it. I moved on because I found out that none of the stories, okay, what language you're writing in is going to match up with the time frame or the language of thing. Let me ask my beloved brother, who wrote the first five books of the Torah? Either one is who wrote the first five books of the Torah? Give me a timeline, a date, and the language that it was written in. It's claimed. It's claimed that the first book, uh, the first five books of the Torah, was written by uh, Moshe. That's uh, that's what they say. Oh, I like that. They see, when I studied, they say we ascribe those five books to Moses, but Moses was not even born during that time. He had no knowledge of creation. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, then wait, I, 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 listen, listen, wait, listen. I, okay, let, let me let me answer the question. When when, when we're dealing with the Torah, we're dealing with according when when we're dealing with the Torah, we're dealing with Abraham. Yeah. We, 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 uh, we, but, yeah sir, but sir, yeah, uh, sir. But you initially you were asking Baba about the yeah. Torah. So what he's what the. The whole the whole premise of this conversation is debunking yeah. the myth the myths and the lies of this religion, right? Well, here's yeah. the thing: yeah. we were going. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, just a second. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pasha, 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 pasha. Okay. But hold okay. on. Excuse me. Let me let me finish making my point, please. Thank it's no you. religion. What? I, okay. Okay, but I mean that that's the title of the show. Okay, so what, what I, I was just recalling the title of the show, but what I'm trying to get you to understand is the reason why we went to Galatians and we're going to Genesis, because what we're doing is we're paralleling the, the whole ideology of Genesis. So in Galatians, it just says Genesis from first, the first 11 chapters is mythology. So if it's mythology, that means that there is no Abraham. That means that the word Hebrew didn't show up until the 14th chapter. So if there is a such thing as the history of uh, African Hebrews um, that you mentioned, what we're saying is uh, our, our African brothers and sisters were long before that, before the, the terminology Hebrew. That's what we're trying to show you. And the reason why we're going back and forth in the Bible is because in the Bible, it says it and it says that it's mythology. So what we're doing is we debunk, debunking the whole premise of the word listen, Hebrew. Listen, uh -huh. it, it don't, when 
when the when like the like from when Malachi Malachi the prophets lived the prophet lived and stuff like when no let me even go to Matthew Matthew Luke and Paul when they was living there was no there was no book of Galatians there was no book of Matthew so how can what we know as the 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 the, the Torah what we know as the Torah is the first five books outside of the the the, 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 the Torah like the, the book of Jeremiah they all Navim, they call them the prophet, the, the Navims and stuff, and then they, the, the, their deeds, the actions and stuff. So you, you, we can't have, you, you, you cannot ha have five books that are, are, are it's not a religion, it's a, it's a ethnicity, an ethnicity. You understand? An ethnicity, people given laws. With that ethnicity, people given laws slash heritage. If, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere you go in the world. Like my brother's yes, a Euro, is is Yoruba. If I ask him, what is the heritage? Is? What what is his heritage? He will tell me the the things that his heritage they, they match exactly with the things found in the in the Torah. But in the Yoruba, they don't write down. There's no book that you can go in West Africa where we're from. I'm a Yoruba too. That shows that the history of Yoruba. No one wrote it down. Let me let, let me get in here and, and finish where I'm going with this because we're leaving the whole scope of what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to bring to the forefront that you got 5.4 billion people that embrace the, this thing called the King James Bible as the unadulterated word of God. It's written in a third man's hand. So the Jewish people, or you want to call them the Ashkenazis, they're the one that gave you the print that's so popular in the world. We might claim about our cultures in Africa or, or the Sudan or Australia, uh, whatever you want to call it. But Four, they didn't give us wait, let me finish, bro. No, they, they, five, let me talk. Wait, four, five point four billion people embraced this so-called English language and they vow by it. All I'm attempting to show is that those first five books do not give you a timeline or historical significance. And if if Noah is mythology, if Noah's father and if Abram's father is Tira, and Tira is the descendant of Noah, that makes the whole storyline be mythology. There is no line culture to it. And then if you go back, look at and the word Hebrew shows up for the first time because it is old English word. It's not a, it's not Hebrew. It is none of that. It is an old English word. Shay, get me the etymology of the word Hebrew going from Genesis the 14th chapter, verse one, because it shows up up in italicized lettering. He said he was first called the Hebrew. The word Hebrew means one that crossed over the Euphrates River. That is not a culture. That is not a language. That is listen, a, it's a, dis it's a description. Elder, listen, 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 Elder. Elder, let me, let me talk. No, 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 brother. It's my time. Yeah. Look up the etymology of the word. You talk most of the time. Let me talk, please. Okay. You talk most of the time. You, you, you have only spoken for like probably 10 minutes. And you, you spoke for like 45 wait, minutes. Wait, wait. A moderator, moderator, he was late. He's one that's late. <laughs> and like I said, in your, if you look in your, in your Torah, in, in, in Barashit, 1413, that word shows up for the first time, nowhere else. Hey guys, Abram, guys, uh, guys, can uh -huh. you hear me? We don't, yes. we, don't, we don't fight on the show at all. We give oh. each other the actual premise to speak and have an opportunity. So, um when it's your time to speak it's your time to speak just go ahead and speak if if somebody is speaking give them the utmost respect to allow them to finish what they're doing like at all because because i need i'm learning right i'm here to learn and mm -hmm. i'm here to learn from all of you guys i'm fairly i'm fairly new within all of this and i'm just sitting here learning. I've, I've, so yeah, let's, jimin, jimin jimin let me talk i've asked him i asked him i asked him a question before any, King, I asked him, listen, I said, King, listen, listen, King, but yeah. you're all over the place. He has an so, answer. You, so, over, when you, so when you ask him, about, you asked him a first question this, and you didn't give him a chance the to answer it. You yeah, asked I, I give him a chance to answer. Of course, I give him a chance to answer. I didn't answer the question. No, you he never answered my question. You continued speaking after you asked him the question. You I didn't continue speaking. Let well, me ask him the question again. Let me ask him the question again so you can answer the question. All right, I'm gonna mute my mic. And, and then I'll give him 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to answer the question. 
What's the difference you, between? There's no timeline. It's, it's, it's you can't. Again. You can't do that. You gotta let each other speak. I'll, yeah, I'll give him fifteen get, minutes. I'll, I'll give him fifteen minutes. To, if not, the, most of the time is the one that's been speaking. We, 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 yeah, this thing has to be done professionally. Because if it doesn't done professionally, he's taking sir, he's, he's sir, taking miss. Sir, I hear what you're he's saying. Lies sir. As, sir, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, sir. The truth. Yes, I hear what you're saying, sir. And like I said, I will give you the respect to speak at all times. Nobody's going to cut. And the same thing, if anybody tries to cut you, I will let them know the same thing. But you got to let them finish. You did it with you did it with Prashe. Um, Your brother was speaking. You um, you did it then and you did it with Baba. Like, I understand Baba been Baba. Baba been speaking for a while. So, OK, Baba has been speaking for a while. We're not speaking. Ask Baba your, all right. Ask your, no, no, no. Ask your question because we're not we're not emotional. No, no, here. Jimin, I'm not emotional. Jimin, don't be biased. You understand? Don't be biased. What do you mean biased? I'm not being biased. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying out of my mouth? What I'm saying, I to understand you is, exactly what you're okay. saying. All right, so going forward, every time I hear somebody, every time I hear you cut somebody, I'm gonna mute your mic. That goes for every single piece. That goes for everyone. I'm not being biased, Baba. Go ahead and give every wait, everybody an opportunity. Do your. I asked him a question. He didn't answer my question. That's the reason okay. why. We're gonna, after, I, after I finish, I'm gonna let you ask your question again, and we're gonna sit here and let him answer his, answer your question. Is that okay? Sir, is that okay? Ask your question. Let him talk. I, I, mute, I mute the mic so you can talk. You say you have a question. Sir, about. you say you have a question. Stop being emotional and ask your question. I'm not being emotional. Okay. I, said, what's the, I, I asked him a question. What's the difference between sacred and, and secular? Is the New Testament sacred or, se or secular? Baba, what? The new ask his question. The New Testament... Is is a white man's thing? It is circular because there's nothing sacred in it, because it is letters and uh, so-called gospel. I do not embrace the New Testament, never did. When I studied and followed, followed the old, when I was with the with the Hebrew community, we studied only the old, the Torah. We didn't study. We didn't deal with the Bar the, 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 the Barat as they call it. We dealt with the with the old. That's what I'm saying. And we found out that a lot of the stories in that didn't line up first of all moses could not moses who when moses is not a hebrew name that is egyptian what hold is on, it baba. What hold, is on, it? Baba. hold on baba abraham was that significant for you i'm because i'm gonna start moderating now was that was that okay did he answer your question uh, he, he answered my he, he, he answered my question uh, uh, he answered my question and boy since remember what he said before i, could, I remember exactly what he said you're saying that since the the he read Galatians two twenty one, he's saying that the 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 the, the stories in the Bible are the allegory, allegory. and it, uh, the allegory and that. If the allegory, why is he going to Genesis nine and then going to Genesis ten? Okay, can I answer? And then he's talking answer? about Nimrod, talking about Abraham, all these people they didn't exist. Can I answer? That's, it, it, it contradicts his whole stand. It con it contradicts his, his whole premises for. A debate with me. When the show started, we indicated that this is not a debate. It's an opportunity to learn and speak with each other, right? Okay. Um, secondly, there is, okay, I guess, and he can speak for himself, but I'm guessing he's starting from the beginning to debunk, like what Prashe stated, to debunk the, the falls within the bible so you have to start on a timeline to indicate where these things came from how they came about how these books are actually brought forth and how the entire world is using these scripts to lead their life I, I, I'm, I, let me say something the entire world is not using the script to live their life do you, you gotta, can't stand the, the, you, you can't stand the bible do you got a king james bible in your hand i right don't now? i don't I don't have a King James Bible in mind. What Bible? New Testament? What Bible do you have? I, I don't not have a King James Bible on What mind. Bible do you have, King? He asked you to pull a Bible. You pulled a Bible earlier. What Bible do you have? I've got a hidden, hidden school, a break school. I've got a hidden truth, a break school. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, uh, 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 King. Have him to go to Bar uh, uh, Barashik uh, Bar uh, Bar uh, Bar uh, Bar uh, 14, 13 and read it from his Hebraic book. 
14. 14, 13. Read, me, read, read it from the Hebraic book and break that word down to us in the English. 14, no. 14, 13. 14, 13. Now, don't try to pull my leg now because I don't read I, like I'm not pulling you. I'm, I'm not pulling your leg. You said 14, 13. And I'll tell you what you do. Do me a favor. Turn your page to the camera. Let me see what the writing look like. Turn your page to the to the camera and let me see what the writing look like. I can't see it yet. No, his his background is dark. You're not gonna see it because he's behind the uh the light is behind him. But if he put it up in front of him, I can see it. Put it in front of you. I doubt if you'd be able to see it. You can't see because my light is yeah. back in the room. Yeah, it's, it's dark in the room, Baba. Just, uh, uh, just sir, just, uh, just read it and. Uh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll read what he says. He says, "Torah Pasha Barashit." Then one, then one, then one who had escaped came and told Abraham the Abu, for he dwelt by the Tabarin at Sim of Mamra the Amorite. Okay. Now read that again and say follow along because he said Abu. The word Abu is Abram. It's the word, Ab it's the word Hebrew. And that word Hebrew there is an English translation. Abu, A-B-R-A-H-U. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what now that is and what that word in English mean, please. Is that the word yeah, Abram? Is that word Hebrew? Yeah, but, but yeah, but that's not Hebrew yeah, English word. Don't deviate. That, you read that the English word. What? That's not translate. That, that's that word, what? Well, that's not an English word. Okay, but well, what is it in English? What if I read? Because every book has a a a, 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 a your language that has it interpreted in English. What is that word? Oh, the, let, let me go to the strong concordance and tell you. And I'm going. To, I'm going to no, go no, to the strong no, no, concordance. No, no. You're not going to slip slide and and do a three card mile here. Go right back and read from your book. And if you say you read it, you all be able to interpret it and tell me what it is in translation. What is that word translated from that language? What is that word? <laughs> you see that? I'm, 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 okay, let me talk. Let me, I'm, I'm going to speak. I'm going to answer the what question. What language is this? What language is this? In, in, in the, in the, it says that, it says Eba, but we know Eba is Eva. Eva. I ask you, I, I, got, I have what? my Torah, I have my Torah in front of my camera. Can you see it? What language is that? Can I you can read that? Can you read that? Well, I can't. I can't see. Oh, uh, don't play me now. Don't play me. Come on I, now. You said I'm you. Not playing. Playing. So now, this is this is Phoenician that the, the so-called language came out of. Can you read that first line? The, the, um, I'm elder, and th that's not the same Hebrew that that that, that Abraham wrote. That's not the same Hebrew that, that, that Abraham was, was reading for. Well, no, hold on a minute. Let, let me get another one, just in case. Maybe you can read this one. <laughs> I can't see what you just pulled. This, That's religion, not the, this religion thing is very touchy. Like, people get uh, riled up. when. Yes, it, they do. But we should uh, be uh, able to have dialects without... No, we're having a debate. Well, this is a debate. It's not a discussion. No. Oh, it's a debate. discussion. You made, You're you trying to a, make it a it debate. Not make it a debate. It's not a debate. No, I, I, it's a discussion. I'd, I'd rather we. I'd rather we don't make it a debate. Um, everyone's um, everyone's here to let to learn, you know. So I'd rather That's we right. don't make it a debate. Let's just make it a discussion. Yeah, it's a discussion. Absolutely. And I, Absolutely, I, I, King. It's a discussion. So you couldn't read that one. So you let me. Really, you can't really see it, Baba. That's not fair. You can't see that thing. I, 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 we we know Baba. Baba. Baba, he, Baba, he, Baba, let me talk. Baba, let me talk. And we know that if Abraham also, if Abraham, we, we, we did Abraham read, can Moses read the Hebrew that you just pour? Can Moses read the Hebrew that you pour? 
will you be able to read that that, that Hebrew that you pull up? Yes or no? I can't, I can't understand I, what you're saying, brother. Because I asked you I, to look at something. I can't I, understand I, I, what you're saying. Can it, can will, Abraham be, will Abraham be able to read the Hebrew that you just pulled pull up? Will he be able saying, to read the Hebrew? He's saying would Abraham... That's not kidding. That's not kidding. I, that. I can't... That's, I know Abraham would not be able to read that, that Hebrew. Well, Abraham you know why? Be. Because, because, that's that, because he couldn't read what you're talking about because the language didn't exist at that time. No, I, I'm saying to you, what you just pulled up was given to, I, I, I'm saying what it was what the, the, the Hebrew that you, you pull up was given to you by the Gentiles. No, that what I showed you was not. That was the last one called no. God. No, that's no, not exactly no, done no, for that. No, for that. No. But you know what? Let's not get off and left because I can see now because you can't see it. But no. my point I'm making is this the word Hebrew shows up for the first time right there in Genesis of a of, barrel of sheet. 1413. I ask you the word in the English says Hebrew. You said that and you keep saying what well, Abraham was a Hebrew. So if you know what the English says, so I'm saying the etymology of the word Hebrew, you say it ain't, but the etymology of the word, it started from oh, Shady, you have it. Pull up the etymology of it. Oh, yeah, right. I have it right here. Okay. I have the it right here. The etymology of the word Hebrew says. Is is late old English from old French Hebrew from Latin Hebrew go back from and read Greek. Go back and read it again. Where it says the late old English? Yes, you want me to go down? Well, sorry, it's, it's, it's Hebrew, the word Hebrew is an adjective and go read it. It's an adjective. Mm -hmm. It's an adjective. Hebrew is an adjective. Read. Um, it says traditionally from an ancestral name, Eber, but probably literally one from the other side, perhaps in reference. Different. It's a description, right? It refers it's a to description. It. And, and, and what does it say? Keep going. It says perhaps a reference to the river Euphrates or perhaps simply signifying immigrant. It only means an immigrant. That is an immigrant is not a language, a language, a tongue. It's me. It's an action. That means that he was an immigrant from the land of Earth. This, and he was. He went into. It, and he was. The guy. One of the men came to him. He escaped. He was in Sodom, where Lot was. And he said he first. He was first called the Hebrew. And there's no other word before that even mentioned that word Hebrew until that verse. So the word and Hebrew. Also, go ahead. Okay. Also, the initial H, which is the first letter, was huh? restored in English from 16 C. The 16th right. century. 16th century. That was no H until the 16th century. So how are you going to have an Abraham if you, could, if you can't put the H in the name? And that's why it's called mythology, people, because the, the narrative will not fit the storyline. You, you couldn't tell me when Moses wrote the five books of the Torah because there is no timeline. And Moses is not a Hebrew name. It is an Egyptian name, one drawn from the water. What was Moses' Hebrew uh, Israelite name, if you say Israelite. But wait a minute. Was he an Israelite? Because Jacob's name, or Yahweh's name, was changed to Israel by the angel. So what was the name of the angel that changed his name to Israel? Because Abraham was not, was not an Israelite. Because the name Israel didn't exist. So the angel changed Jacob's name, or Yahweh's name, to Israel. And then Yahweh married his first, two, his first two cousins who had children by them and their handmaiden. Where the trail tribes came out of. So the uh, let, me, let me get a drink of water. Let me get a drink of water. <laughs> so your bloodline is mythology. If if Tira is a descendant of Noah and Abraham is, is Tira's son, that makes the whole thing Jewish mythology. I don't know how you cut it. Culture wise, it is still a fairy tale, it's an ancient tale, folklore. It has no significance. It is all Jewish. Missing legend. Now you can embrace, believe what you want to. You can believe anything, but remember this: don't try to make other folks believe this them when the book won't back it. The very book you claim won't back it. Give me the who wrote the book of Barashit, and who was there when and said God said let there be light. It don't say. It says Abarashit, Bara Alahim Hasamayim Wa'adit. In the beginning, the creative powers made the heaven and earth. Your book said, and the Elohim. Elohim is duality. In the beginning, the creative powers made the heavens and the earth. Some say God 
There is no word for God because the word God is 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 of all Gothic. In the ancient text, they did not use the word God. The word is Allah, which means power. And whatever you want to call it, Eric, Yiddish, it all read because it's transferred from one language to another. And it says that Allah, the power, don't give a name. And my point I'm making, I know we're almost done, is that if you believe the story of Adam and Eve and run it all the way down, that whole first 11 chapters is all myth. And from, the, and from the rest of that, it's all legends, allegorical, and dogma. Because you can't prove nowhere in the text that that Moses uh, that ever wrote the five books, it was ascribed to him. He wasn't even born. How is he going to sit down and write all them books? When was Genesis, when was Genesis written? When was Deuteronomy written? When was Leviticus written? When was Numbers written? There was no timeline you can give me that will give you that because uh, according to the storyline, the book by Archbishop James Ursa said that the world started in October 4004 BC. Abram was allegedly born in 1996 BC. So when was Moses born? And how are you going to write about, then try and write about his own death in Deuteronomy? He's going to write about his own death in Deuteronomy? That don't make no sense. It's all that. mythology. Now I'll say Baba. that and I'll shut up. Okay, then, since you're saying his own mythology, show me why in the book it says that, that Moses lived 800 BC. Show me why in the book. It doesn't say that anywhere in the book. Biblical timeline will tell you. Oh, hey, I'm not talking about all this stuff because. Who, who, who made the biblical timeline? You're playing dodgeball. You play who made you, the biblical timeline? Who made it? Africans yeah. or Europeans? It don't matter. People of course, it needs to matter. It okay, needs to matter. Well, who gave your name Moses? Where did that come from? Who gave the name Moses? Where did that come the, from? The, the, the name is not Mo Moses. When you go to West Africa, when you go to West Africa, there's a tribe. It's called Man, look, I'm not going to West Africa. The question is this. 5.4 billion people in the world today cleave to this book called the Bible, and they embrace it. Whether you're West Africa or whatever, they embrace it as being the word. And we can be argument. I don't want to be argumentative. All I'm saying, it won't line up. You got, all, you got them populating the whole world. Now, once you go read from your book, that same barrel sheet, 9, 18, and 19, and see that it say, and that and that these sons cover the whole earth. If it, it doesn't say, say that. that. It, it doesn't say that. It doesn't it say that. that. It don't. Read in the book. It doesn't say that. It says repopulated. It doesn't say that. It, comes, that's, it says repopulated. What's the difference between populated the whole earth? Then cover it doesn't the say. You it see, doesn't say. Y'all see the brother don't Why does he say? Why does he, he say? Show me. Show me. Let them be populated and cover the whole earth. It don't. It's impossible. That's a whole lot of shaking going on. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. A person is trying to believe what they want to believe and chase, chase any kind of cattle what they want to, but don't try to make the whole world believe that all black people are Israel of, of, of the lost tribe because they are not. You might say the you the Igbo the say they are. But let me ask you this. Who's older? The Yorubas or the so-called Ashkenazi Jews? Answer my question. I, I, I just asked, he asked, hold on, hold on, sir. He just asked yeah. you a question. Now, you, you can't answer a question with a question. You asked him a question, he answered. So he just asked you a question. Please answer the question. Who is the oldest people of the, of the Yorubas or the Ashkenazis? The Yorubas. Okay. So then, but why do the Yoruba say, okay, the Yoruba, when, when was the Yoruba nation founded, or what is their, cre what is their creation story? What is the Yoruba creation story? Cosmology. All right, I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump in, okay? I'm going to okay. jump in. I'm going to jump in, you know, being um, from the Yoruba tribe, I will jump in. Now, all Right. according to we Yorubas, all right, we have a sacred text. We call it Ifa, all right? Uh -huh. And um, the sacred text talks about um, in the beginning, like in Yoruba language, we call it Ibere Sheshe. Uh -huh. All right. That's what we call it. Now, it says in the beginnings, the sons and daughters of God came from the heavens and they created the earth. All right. Uh -huh. And they created the first people, which was the Yoruba people. Now, 
you don't have to believe it, but you know that's what the um, the text says. Okay. Uh, All right. I that's what it says. Okay. That name God that's Oldemare, Oldemare, and the Orishas, and they came before Oldemare to, to create the earth, and they had, and, the, and at one time they lived in the dinosphere that the that the divinities and humans lived in the dinosphere while they were preparing to make an earth for man to come to, and Obatala. Suppose they came down on the chain and found a place and opened up the shell and the, the dry land came up. You have an earth-based cosmology. Orumula was the prophet of the text who came and did the work. While we have the, what they call the, the, the 16 major old dudes, the 356 in the orders, according to Ifa. Dr. Osamari Evie wrote the book, Ifa is the complete work of Orumula. That's why I left from that and we get the embrace because my father, we found out that my father was of the Yoruba tribe called Ifa Gobuluje tribe out of Oya State, Nigeria. And Eli Ife is the holy city. And it's true. First man was created there in Eli Ife, according to the Yoruba cosmology. But that's not what the Jews say. They say they created somewhere out east without of Eden. So either our either our cosmology is right or the Ashkenazi cosmology is right. Both of them is a story trying to tell us how the world came into existence. And every okay. nation, okay. 195 okay. nations, all have a creation story, a cosmology that they tell their children in order to reinforce their culture and their thing. Elder, Elder, I could ask your question. In I don't need to ask no question. I need to ask your question. Okay. <laughs> Since we're talking hey. about you, about, about Jewish people hey. saying that the, the yeah, our creation story is starting East Africa and 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 you are seeing their 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 creation starting in. It started in West Africa. You, in Genesis 4, verse. Does the Europe have an Adam and Eve story in their cosmology? In in, in Genesis. In, in in Genesis 4, verse 16. A, a land of a land of a land of nod is mentioned. According to the, the Jewish people, why is, why is the land of Nod? The land of Nod is mythology. The word land of Nod is, is, is goes into the stratosphere in the mind. Same thing when Jacob wrestled with the angel in the pioneer. The pioneer is in, is in the brain. We talk, we're talking about a uh, 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 cosmological, I'm talking about, about the body and the mind. Like the word Adam, the word Adam means blood. We're not going to get into all that. You, see, you're trying to do it, of course, it's still mythology. Because nobody was there when the, when the world was formed to write it down. Who was the secretary doing the right? It says, and God said, that's a third man's hand. God ain't said nothing. The, the writer said he did. Or God said she did because actually the creation is feminine. It's of the, of the dark primordial water, the dark primordial, the triple darkness. And out of darkness came the light. And that's a feminine, feminine process. Uh, Nana Baruku, the great, great grandmother of all the Orishas. All that we, we got our own cosmology. Why do we need to chase the Ashkenazi Sephardic cosmology when we can tell our own stories? The, That's good. Uh, why do we divine? Where did they get that? They, they got the divine system from us. They call it you and them, but it came from the from our old dudes. I embraced it because I learned that our my father was of the Yoruba tribe, Ifa Go Beluje, which means if I will not. Just follow the city. And our family, the Orisha of divinity was Ogun. So mm -hmm. we could all mm -hmm. have a point. I'd rather tell folks the Yoruba cosmology than some Jewish fable that you can't document because you have no timeline, no nothing. I appreciate my brother, what in a bold uh came from well, I, I love it because you're right. Because we ha we have the holy city in our land. Why we chase somebody else wolf cookies? Tell our story. We're older. Do you know that right. our, that we've been around here 2.5 billion years? The dark man, the so-called black man, of the melanated man. We've been here 2.5 billion years, and that's been documented in history. And the word Yoruba means your soul. We, you, we you, are, we, your body does not mean that. The word well, your body does not mean that. Whatever it means, I embrace it. Whatever it means, but, I, but, I, but, 
and I embrace it. I am not Bola, no Bola, Jew. Hold on, Baba. Hold on. Yeah, uh, I'm right here. Right here. Balaji. Yeah. Balaji, let me ask you a question. Wh wh where is the land of Nod, uh, Nod according to the Yoruba? Well, the land of Nod, all right, from what we know, it's uh, definitely somewhere in northern Nigeria today. Now, a lot of researchers believe it's um, also the uh, land that was called Nok. That's the ancient Nok culture. They believe it's a mis uh, misinterpretation of words, you know. But listen, um, I really can't prove it, you know, but that's what um, some scholars say. That's what they say. You know, they, um, they um, relate um, the, uh, the land, the biblical land of Nod to um, the ancient Nok culture. You know, that's what they say, but I really can't prove it. Okay, and same thing about, I just said about the, about the, about the, about the book of Genesis, the same thing to the prior because they can't prove it. They, they haven't found no remains. There was no, they can go back and no, no DNA to prove that Abraham ever existed or that was an art. I would rather embrace the Yoruba cosmology. Brother, was it, man, I can paint the national name. <laughs> Balaji. Balaji. <laughs> I would rather embrace that storyline. <laughs> and tell them, then tell them about some fighting arguing with some Jew about what they the lie they made up. Give me my Yoruba cosmology. Let me embrace <laughs> my ancestors. Let me embrace the, uh, the the story that they told us because in Ifa there is no devil and there's no savior God. It teaches no. you empower you to empower, be empowered, and walk on your destiny. <laughs> right. I say, I share, I share, I share. Yeah. I share. But I share. I teach you to depend on something outside yourself. If I teach you to depend on what's in you, and the Orishas live in you, they are a part of you. They guide us, and we divine to communicate with them. We don't get down and pray, oh God, we call upon the Orishas and our ancestors. Huh? A, a Gungu be a Kosi. All I'm saying, I'm not taking okay, the okay. concept, give me. Give me the euro. Okay, Elder. 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 Let me let me say something. Let me say something. Since you you spoke, us Yoruba, we understand our wishes as ancestors. The ancestors cannot be gods. You understand? The ancestors cannot be gods. So I never said that. Ancestors. I didn't say that. I talk fair because of my language. I didn't never say yeah. there was. That's a difference. Yeah, no Yoruba ever says that. It's a divine. You know, I'm not going to get I, into. I don't think you know, Ifa and Ifa. I think I'm Ifa. Hold on, Baba. Go ahead, sir. Okay, then. I, I'm going to answer the land of Nod. That, that was, I talked about Genesis 4, 6, 16, the question. By our calculation, we place the land of Nod in the arts of West African near Lake Chad. Nok and, Nok, Nod and Nok are interchangeable words, eternally speaking, in an African tongue. This area is the area of metal work, and we know Quelin was a metal worker and he knew how to make implements with metal since he killed his brother with a similar implement. Quelin built a city, a city named in verse 14 to Chenok, which is synonymous synony with a knock or nod, a Nigerian fellow, fellow just by the name of Modu Odoyo confirmed in his writing that the that the Hebrew word for nod and knock are identi identical. This were Canaanite chief who maintained two wives on the north-south axis as patriarchs. Similar people can still be found today in both Africa and Asia. This tell us that that Kenu, Kanu, Kanu, the city in Nigeria in the north is where Quelling will have placed his principal ruling wife as a chief and his second southern wife will be down south near the George Plateau states. We know that Nok, Nod, Nod, Nok and Nod, they in, in George Plateau states in Nigeria. This pattern of north south axis can be seen through writing for the bad death and the resurrection of the Marseilles. May, may, may I make a comment? Yeah. Why would you get through, uh, sir? I got a comment because I, I, man, I got to get this brother name. I love the way his name sounds. Balaji. 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 Uh, 
my brother, and I much respect and no disrespect, you're reading from somebody's writing, but you're going right back into the mythology and the, and the allegorical thing that I was talking about a while ago. You said, when you said Genesis, what is the Yoruba text? What does the Yoruba text of cosmology say about this thing? You're reading it. Who's the author? Who translated? Who edited it? And what year was it written in? Yep. All right. So that's why you see what the the um, the, the Bible calls um calls Genesis in um Yoruba um sacred text according to Ifa is what we call Ibere Sheshe. Ibere Sheshe. Okay. Okay. So uh, that means the beginning or the beginning right. of um that's um true. the beginning of um the religion of our ancestors or the ways yeah. of our ancestors. The ways, that's okay. what it really means. Okay. And what and what is the and what year and what's the timeline that that was written and who wrote it? Ah, uh, the timeline. I, I don't. Um, even the Ifa priest wouldn't give you a timeline because, um, you well, know, according to the priest, they said it came directly from um from Eledumari or from Eledumari, right? But yeah. that's the timeline. So we have to go. On, we got to go on somebody's. Uh, so now, now remember this. They said that Old Demari said that. Did, did we hear Old Demari say that? Uh, no, 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 no. 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 So, no. in a court of law, it wouldn't stand up. That is called no. hearsay. Yeah, a direct witness that's hearsay. And something when, when you go to that Bible, it's all hearsay. And God said, and they said, Who is this doing this talking? Because they ain't saying nothing. And Moses said, Well, who wrote it in a court of law? It wouldn't, it that wouldn't would be hearsay. Water. You cannot work on hearsay. Elder, Elder, Elder. Elder. I like. Yeah. Sir, you have to wait till he's finished. We all have our some... I like what the brother said. I don't know. We was told this. It's been handed down. Hey, you know hey Baba, Sean, Sean has a question for you guys. He says, Is there no savior God or Satan devil? No, what not is in the text that says no. What is the text that says what became of us in the afterlife in both scriptures? He said he's in the asking afterlife, he's in the afterlife, according to what I've been taught, that when you leave and transition, you return back to your bloodline. It's a recycle. There is no devil. They yes. teach you. They may teach yeah. you the devil, but he's not a, I call him the divine teacher. What I've been taught from my elders, that there's no savior God in Ifa. We respect our ancestors and homage to them, and we communicate through divination. And they guide us on our journey. That's why Christianity, Islam, they got to save your God or somebody going to say, if I don't have that, unless in, uh, my brother was a name, God got to get that brother's name. Yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, um, um, Baba, Baba, Baba's, Baba's uh, absolutely right. Um, in if I, there's no um, devil. Um, um, as we all, well, for those that don't know and, you know, for those that don't know, um, the word devil got introduced um, into um, the Yoruba methodology through um, uh, an archbishop na um, named um, Ajayi Crowder. Okay, right. Now, Crowder was given a good Christian education um, according to the Church of England. That's and um, he was one of those who translated um, the English Bible into the Yoruba language. And um, where'd he go? Oh, he's cut out. I don't know. Don't let Tim Tim find a parking spot. Don't do that. Or <laughs> Lucifer with um the Yoruba Eshu. Yeah. All right. Now Eshu in Yoruba um methodology and in Ifa um is not the devil. <laughs> okay. No. Those are two. <laughs> those are two two different um things. Okay. In, in um Ifa. Um, Eshu is um, um, one of the messengers of God. And if you even go deep in Ifa, um, Eshu is actually the gatekeeper. That's um, right. Without Eshu, um, it's almost like your prayers or even um, your sacrifices wouldn't be accepted. So, so why would someone want to change that to the devil? Because they need a Savior God concept to make you feel guilty to bow down to the, the Eurocentric white supremacy oh. mindset. Because they give you a white God to save you. If I don't mm -hmm. have that. And to me, I love issue. Issue Adara, the, the, the great father of all of, of, of issue. You know, he's the gatekeeper. He got to faith and where you go or your prayer get through or not. 
The same lie they told about in Daniel when, when, the, when the devil blocked Daniel's prayer for 21 days. They took issue and made him the devil in Christianity and other religions. But issue, I call issue the master teacher because he make you perfect you in your EY Palais. You say you're going to do something, he tests you to make sure you're going to do it. He makes you if you're going to be obedient or not. If you ask to do something, you yeah. do it pay the consequences. Mm -hmm. Ashe? Ashe. Yeah. That's why I embrace it. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe. I don't say that Askenaz want to be a black Jew. I could care less. Let me embrace all so, the moms. I got a, got a question for you guys. I got a question for Go you ahead. guys. So as as a young as a young um, male um, going forth every single day, right? How do you turn from what you've been programmed to learn to the correct balance? Every, everybody can answer that when you have an opportunity. That's for everyone. Uh, 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 well, I've, I've never. Let me let me answer. Let, 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 let me answer first, Bologi, because right. the elder is talking about Ifa as a religion, but Ifa is no religion. Because no, in, in no, Ghana, right. in Ghana, the AV, they they have something similar mm -hmm. they, uh, that is Ifa is no religion. When you read the Book of Jonas, it talks about casting lots, and casting lots cannot be a religion. So if anyone in Nigeria, uh, two thousand years after, after was when Mo Moses Mose lived, changed casting lots to determine casting lots is it, it, it was done for, for us to find out to to de determine a, a, a matter. So it cannot be IFA or AFA in AV is not a religion. The Yorubas. Don't have a religion. It's the way of life, right? No, but I'm, no, no. The laws, our laws, is a way of life. The yep. things that are taboo, and the things that are taboo in, in our culture, the things that are taboo and forbidden, for, forbidden, and things that we're allowed to do. We had circumcision before Europeans came. I like that. I like to go cycle before we had things. All the things that they talk in the Torah before the European came. When we when we talk about Orish, Orishas, the ancestors, we 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 uh, we're not dealing with a religion as a, a European lens. So when the elder all the when the elder was going into into books, all those books that they wasn't written by Africans from West Africa, South Africa, East Africa, because we have to compare culture and look at the, what we're doing. We can't be saying that because someone says Eba, a European guy says. Hebrew, Eba, Eba means these words. It, 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 that it really mean that. Because well, when you go into Eve, we, we find all the names that in the Torah, in Eve, you find the names in phone, the phone language, you find the, the so called Yoruba. And even Bishop Agatha Kotli, he, he he's the one, 106, 160 years ago, he's the one that coined the name Yoruba. Before that, there was no Yoruba people in West Africa. Okay, they migrated from the they migrated in there, huh? But can you see what? how? Can you see how? Before, now wait a minute. That, can you see how a young? Can you see how a young person like me would be conflicted based on right every single teaching mm -hmm. that's transpiring today? Right. Versus the, the the versus the Christianity that people go like for instance, right? The everybody say a prayer. In actuality, prayer pertains to meditation, right? But That's after, right. but after every so-called prayer that they close their eyes to, right? They say, "Amen." Amen dates back to Egypt. Why you that that Amen that they're mentioning is Amen Ra? So how do Amen you, don't date. Amen don't date back to you. Amen Ra. Yeah. King, amen King, do that. But it pertains to amen. where does Amen Ra from? Where, where did you get that name from? Amen doesn't date back to Egypt. Amen, amen Ra. Doesn't date so I mean, raw. Where's the date back to? No, it uh, the word I mean. You understand? In because in Africa, you find names in in similar names in different languages, but you can't say this name date back to Egypt because that there's culture that pre, that pre, when you go to six thousand BC, seven thousand, eight thousand BC, ten thousand BC, there's cultures that predict because humans migrated from West Africa into East, South, and 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 North and Asia into Yugo. That's the migration pattern. So what is it they ooh, back ooh. to? <laughs> I, I mean, if if people are saying if if people are saying let it be so, 
I know for certain they date back to West Africa. Where's Egypt? So what's the date? Where's Egypt? Well, where's Egypt? Egypt is near West Africa. It's in East Africa. But but I'm saying it's still it's Africa, right? It's still a part of Africa, is it not? But like, it's Africa. Yeah, wait, wait, it's Africa. Wait. It's Africa. No. When so I'm sorry. Day? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't give a specific okay. geological plate, but um section. But what I'm saying is, everyone stated after every prayer. So how do you you associate that with Christianity? I'm saying so it be. Uh, uh, when when would when we're dealing with the Torah? It was Abraham wasn't Judaism. He wasn't Christi Christian. He wasn't a Muslim. That we need to find out where Abraham was. You're, this this is no we're not talking okay. even the word, hey, sir, even the word, sir i have yeah. a question can i i have a question sir um yeah. my question is why is it that you know we're asking specific questions to get a particular answer and you kind of deviate from it to try to get across the agenda that you're trying to prove Instead of answering your quest, the questions that are given to you, we were asking about the historical timeline of uh, Amen or Amen, Amen Ra, um, but you deviate from it because it's 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 a particular goal that you're trying to get to, and instead of answering the questions, because if you were really really tuning in to what everybody was saying. It's a nobody said anything about Ifa or Yoruba being a religion. We said that it was a no, spiritual. That's what the, no, that's what uh, the, hold, the, on, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm trying to make a point here. What I'm trying to get you to understand is this this whole this whole conversation today has been very teachable. Everything everybody here is a student. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is because you have such a such an agenda that you're missing a moment to kind to kind of get some new information, to kind of broaden your horizons to go back to study. But it's something that you're trying to make, excuse me, that you're trying to make a point of. And all I'm trying to get you to understand is you're missing the moment of learning here. We're all our students. Jermaine just made a point here. He was trying to show you how things can get misconstrued or misunderstood because of all the different variations of, I understand that you, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about, you know, Africa and, and where everything is coming from, but we're trying to understand why is there such a division between, you know, us, we're all the same color, but we're trying to understand why is it that we're holding on to a European concept, no matter how you slice it, it is Bible was making points to show you that it is still a European concept. Everything that you're asking is based on a European concept. Why is it that you're still drawing from that instead of listening to your cousin who's on the line, who actually is actually him and Bible are saying the same things, but you're, you're, you're stricken. Your mindset is set on a European concept that you're not letting go instead of learning at this moment. Now, I don't know why, but that may be something that you need to search within yourself because you're, so it's something that you're holding on to that you're not willing to let go. And that's an emotional hold, no matter how you slice it. Okay, then. Sister Pasha, you, you are the, if you want me to live my way of living, my every way of living, and w which other way of living are you going to bring me from, from America? Which other way? And like, like even the, the Amara, he's talking about Amara. The people that live in Egypt today, the people that live in ancient e e in Egypt, they don't live in Egypt today. They they live in Kenya, Ugandans, and stuff. I talked to this, I talked, I know, I know these people and stuff. So, and the the word, the the Egyptian book of the the dead, the people that are breaking down the hieroglyphics, they know the ancient people of those lands. So how yeah. can the 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 this uh, or different people come into a land, and you're telling me that someone lived Amara, someone lived Amara and a given timeline. You're telling me it comes from this word Amara. Oh, now, now we're in West Africa. We, if we're doing our, if we have our, our feast, we have our different feast, the things that we go to, we have our Passover, we're not doing our Passover and we're doing our petition. No one is saying Amen. And if, if they're doing it in Yoruba, if they're doing it in 
in in every if they're doing it in fun. No one is saying that. No one. I'm not a Christian. I, I don't. I don't follow Judaism. I don't follow Islam. Any of those things. Okay, but, so yeah. you don't follow those things, but but you yeah, you do. And, you just said you do Passover, right? Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, Hold on, just a second. Let me let me let me show you something. Passover. Passover is my name. You see my name at the top of that screen. Pache means Passover. It's Hebrew for Passover. So what I'm saying is that's still a European concept that you're holding on to. In in West Africa, every even Bologi will say we, we got homo homovio homovio festival for homo homovio and that where okay in, in, where all right let me let me just let me just uh, all right let me let me just interject yeah let me just interject quickly okay now what sure. um you know um the, um, the, um the Passover right. Now, mm -hmm. from what I've learned um, from my um, my family, is that what uh, they call the Passover in the Bible, and what um, my um, Gadam brothers in Ghana call Omowo, is what we in Yoruba call Ileya, which means it's time to go home. All right. Now, the funny thing is, in in the Yorubas. Um, for some reasons that I do not understand, and I still don't know why, they tend to celebrate that festival with um, the Muslims in Nigeria. Why they do it, I don't know. You know, because um, the Muslims call they call that um, Ramadan, um, the festival um, Ram. Ramadan, you know, you know, Ramadan. so Ramadan and um, Ilya are just two different words. Okay, right. it, uh, <laughs> you understand. So that's what mm -hmm. we call, you know, Ilya. You know, is um, time to go home. All right. So the question now is, um, what home? Where ah. are you going? Ah. Mm -hmm. If you understand what I mean, right. and mm -hmm. why celebrate it with the Muslims? Ah. But that's a topic for another day if you guys invite me to the show. Like yeah, I we're, said, we're all here to learn. Welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome, absolutely. Man. I still, um, gotta, I'm gonna I get that. I, I still got a question. Uh, it, I had a question for it's uh it's it, it, it's 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 deeper than it's deeper than we 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 all know because uh, as a Yoruba, mm -hmm. all right, um um unfortunately the Yorubas have um I'd say a very mysterious identity. Till date, um, it's uh, it's it's just very sad. But as a Yoruba person, you know, I did a research on my people, and I was actually um, motivated by um, people like um, um, what's his name, uh, Samuel Johnson. All right, Samuel Johnson, who wrote the history of the Yorubas. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of Yorubas, you know, do, do not accept that book. But I think it's a very rich book, and um, it took the man about 20 years to gather all the information that he got before he was able to write the book. And um, the original manuscript was suppressed by um, the Church of England. And the question is why? Why was the original manuscript uh, suppressed? Man, I got to get his name right. I got to get his name right. Right? But, but like I said, Belagi. it's... Uh, Belagi. It's another topic for another day, and that was what really motivated me to um, research about, you know, we the Yorubas, and um, you'll be shocked. But that's another topic for another day. Belage, I have a question for Belage. Is that okay? Definitely, sir. Go on, okay. Barbara. I, I like the way you post that, but remember, you in your court, you said somebody came in, and they wrote something and translated the book into the language. And you rely basically on that person's ability and professor to write it, and he inserted things in that writing. That if you say this is what it is, but unless you check the resource that he got it from to write or retranslate that language into Yoruba or out of Yoruba, that's why I'm talking today. While we get that thing about mythology, you're relying upon translators, transliterators to tell you something that you're supposed to have a working knowledge of, and many of us don't because we do not study these other languages. And so when we come to that, yes. This is the problem we have all the time. We have a language barrier because we don't not understand what we're saying in different dialects. It's over what three thousand different tribes in in uh, uh, in uh, over there in what we call Africa or, or, or the Congo. Because that the real name before that was not Africa. It was called something else. But it was over three thousand languages over there, and we have a conflict because we can't what communicate. 
And I like what you're saying. You said you. they came in, the, the Church of England came in there and they did. So a lot of things have been colonialized and re-described and retranslated and given back to us and are suppressed, are suppressed where we can't get it. And that's why we said we have this forum right now. We're all trying to find answers. We're all trying to find our way back home. I got a question too. But I promise you, Baba. I promise you, Baba. We'll get the answers. But like I said, it's a, a, a different topic for another day. It's right. uh, it's uh, it, it's it's something I've been researching for over eight years. And um, you know, um, there's a saying. Um, if you really want to know yourself, you actually have to um try to find out what your enemy knows about you. That's it. So. <laughs> So, uh, but like I said, that's a topic for another that's day. That's good. So, I, don't, I don't want to devi um, deviate from what we're talking about, okay? But no, that's no, no, what I, I appreciate, I appreciate I got it. A, I got a question for Abraham, right? Um, mm -hmm. Pertaining to the question I asked that you, um, that you deflected on. I, you, so you're telling me out of the 54 countries in Africa, you guys all follow the same ideology? No, we don't follow the same ideology because we're not the same people. But, but not you spoke people, that, but you, you mentioned that yesterday. You said you, you said early, you said you know people in Africa. And... I, I, I didn't say 54 countries. I said Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Gambia, and, and, and Guinea. Okay. That's the countries I'm talking about. Okay. I stand corrected. Uh, yeah. Also, those six, seven countries, those six countries, seven countries I mentioned, we've, uh, the people are called Ebe Bembi, which is Hebrew land. You under, and if the border Bolanji, bo, bo, if I ask him a question, is the form people, the so called Yoruba people, and the every people, are they the same people? Or are they different people? I'm sorry. The, 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 yeah, and the form. Repeat that question and again. The, 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 uh, the, the Gadambis, the, the, the form people, the every people, and the so called Yoruba people, are they the same people? Well, I think the All right. Before I, I ask that, before the same nation. I met you. All right, but, but uh, it's not. It's all not right. Let me let me answer this. Let me answer this. Let me let me answer this first. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me answer this first. Okay. Now, the word Yoruba, I don't know what it means. I don't know where it came from. So I will not go with that description to describe myself. All right. But I'm gonna go back to the Ifa sacred texts. Okay, and the Ifa text says, Okay, are you listening? All it says, yes. We are Ife or what they call Eve, and the language we speak is Ife or Eve. So, as a nation of people, we are Ife or Eve, according to another dialect. Now, you asked about the Gadangwe, the um, four, and the um. Airway now, all this, because um, because because airway now, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a female ship, you know that, yes, no I know it's ever, it's a mistranslation, it's a mistranslation. I know it's a mistranslation, it's a mistranslation of old English. I know now, all these people, all as a nation of people, okay, trace their origins to Ife. Or ever. So, as a nation of people collectively, they are all ever if we are to follow what Ifa says. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, I don't want to identify with the name of the word Yoruba because it doesn't exist in Ifa. Ashe, Ashe, I was going to get there. I was, was going to get there. I met Ashe. you. I met the Iwe people a number of years ago, and their cosmology is not the same as as our cosmology. I'm gonna say our because I embrace, I embrace, I embrace Ifa. I'm not a Christian. I'm not. I, I embrace Ifa. And that's what I love, and I'm and I'm I'm practicing the medicine and the and the. Same here, Baba. Same here, Baba. Same here, Baba. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I I I embrace Ifa. All right, because the minute I knew the truth, the truth about my people. Okay, I was born into a Catholic home. I, I used think. to serve mass, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I knew something wasn't right somewhere, okay? Right. I knew something wasn't right somewhere. I did my own research, took me over eight years, and the minute I knew the truth, I went back to the spirituality of my ancestors, all right? And that's the reason why I, I identify with Baba. We shouldn't let the Europeans 
or we shouldn't cling on to the European description of who we are. Ah, I say. Mm. All right. So ah. the minute the minute we start using the Bible, the Torah to um <laughs> to talk about us, there's mm -hmm. there's gonna be a problem. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem. All right, because don't don't let's not forget what yeah. we call the Bible today. Okay, all came from ancient Greece, from um, Ptolemy, Ptolemy Soda, mm -hmm. and Antipater. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're the ones who decoded everything from you know collectively and called it the Bible today. Right. So it's the the, the Bible has gone through different faces, gone yeah. through different people, different hands. So, you know, it's um, it, it's kind of complicated, you know, and it's just, you know, we as Africans, West Africans, um, descendants of Africans, um, we shouldn't um, use that to describe us, you know. Let us, you know, pay attention to what the spirituality of our ancestors says. You don't have to agree with me, you know. You know, you know that's just that's just my own opinion and, and the, the thing that's conflicting to me king is is how um like the more you read it the more it seemed like folk tales and, it is a folk tale. and and how they they diminish and tarnish the queen within there and how the deeper you read it and like I'm learning a lot from from Baba as well but through my through my own former reading I realized that they give the queens a beating in the Bible. And like what 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 conflicts me also is that how they say, oh, you took a rib out of the man and you you create, you create, um, you created woman. And it standing in the hospital, seeing seeing my child, my child born, <laughs> disrupt all of that. Where does it say that? Where does it say that? So what does it say, King? Yeah. Uh, uh, since you're saying that, I, I want the elder to read the, the since he said he knows Canaanite Phoenician and he he came out, he showed us a text. I want him to read why he says that. The man, the man was created. The woman, the woman was created in this text. I wanted to read it in the, the Hebrew that I said he knows, and, you, and then he can translate it in whatever in, in different ways in English. But what I'm I speaking of, I'm speaking of yeah. the mother and Bible. I was given the mother yeah. and Bible because nobody, I, and and she she might be watching. Nobody choose more Bible leaf than my mom. I love you, mom. Yeah, but, um, and honestly, you can go from you can go from day day five. Or you can go to day six. Let us create man in our own image. And and I could tell you, he laid Adam down. That's how they translate it. He took he took one of his rib, and he created woman. Right? <laughs> okay. That's that's in the, that's in the king. But I'm telling you, what's in, I'm telling you what's in the text. But what disrupt that for me is yeah, the, the fact that my kid, my 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 kid's mom, my wife, gave birth. To my first son, and that tripped me out. That showed me that everything within this book is a farce and a lie. Because if you go into, if you go deeper into that book, there's a lot of faggotry in it as well. Mm -hmm. that, okay. that point, that point, you just—I'm going to interject here, guys. I paid my five dollars to get in oh, here. Okay, okay. Greetings, 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 greetings. Everybody, cool down, cool down, sir. I've been listening to you, sir, for an hour and a half, and you—and all I hear is the same thing from you. And this is, is sir, is my man, but I just want to make a point that what Jermaine said kind of canceled out the European whole situation because he actually seen his son give birth. There's a contradiction here, a mm -hmm. big contradiction. Now, I came in late, but correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, uh, this Part of this theme is about programming, right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so if Jermaine seen his son born actually come out of his, his wife, it's a contradiction here. 
It's the programming if somebody tells him differently. Because if he reads something differently out of all books, if this book has God in it, it must be a spiritual book. If this book has God in it, it must be a truthful book. So, but if Jermaine actually sees his son come out of his wife, then that's a book of programming because it's not actually telling him what, how actually man comes into being from a woman. And the King James ver version I'm referring to. And King James was a homosexual. You all know that, right? How can you yeah. be spiritual mm -hmm. and write a book? King James was such a weird homosexual. He killed his own mother. His, his lover was Lord Buckingham. That's who they named Buckingham Palace after. <laughs> so how can you look at this book as being anything spiritual? He took the 27 scholars and philosophers and wrote this book and threatened all of them. If they speak anything against the Bible, he will kill them. Shakespeare was, was the only one that went it. it was 60 scholars. But, let, but hear me out. I got you. Shakespeare was the only one that says, you will not kill me. He says, well, Shakespeare, if you let anybody know that you are part of this book, you will be killed. This is your King James, this weird, freaky homosexual that liked little boys and killed his own mother. Okay? Now, Shakespeare was smarter than all the scholars. He put his own name in the Bible. That's right. 46 some. 46 some. 40, 46 some. If anybody, you got a King James Version, sir, anybody, pick up your King James Version Bible. You, you got it, sir? Uh, you, you don't have a Okay, okay, wait, wait, let me, let me just finish my point. Let me just finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me talk, and I talk, please. Let, I know, but I let me finish my point. Sir, you, sir, you have point. four for an hour and a half. I just want to say this, and I'm going to give you guys the floor. And some for because I'm talking facts, I'm not talking second hand from something that nobody was at thousands of years ago. Because you can talk to the cows come home because nobody was there four thousand years ago. It's all second hand, no matter how you look at it. If you're a spiritual mm -hmm. person, you're a first hand person. Now, in that book, in that Psalm 46, if you count 46 words from the beginning, from the first word, you see shakes. And you time 46 words from the from the last word up, you see spear. That's Shakespeare telling you that the book is a farce. That's why he put it in some 46. The Bible is a book of codes. 46 is a one, meaning the new program. White supremacy is ran by codes. All of that is a book of codes. And whenever you see the number one, that means new program. That's why it says COVID-19. That means the new world order program starts here for 2020. It's the first. You need to take that book and put it with Gulliver Travels and Popeye and all the other fishing. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> sorry, it's your, sorry, it's your turn. Okay, um, then, <laughs> since, since, since it's my turn. Every, like everyone on this debate thing, like all five of you, are anti Torah. No, I'm just talking and, facts. And it's not a debate. Oh no, 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 Stuff can be added to it. I don't come in with my cup full, therefore nothing can be added. I'm in here to learn, right? So to 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 put me in a place to say I'm anti anything when I'm not. Of course, you anti anti anything. I'm anti. I'm anti a book yeah, that you're, you're, I'm anti a book that lied to me. You're, you're, a book. Yeah. So okay. The, simple you're simple my thing. Culture. You're, you're how, my how did what's you get that? What how did you heritage? get that? What is you my mean, heritage? Yeah, King, tell me what's your heritage. King, I was born in Jamaica. There is no heritage. Everything is a farce and a lie. Yeah. Anything you read, anything you read, everything you read in this lifetime came from somebody else. If you ever you pay attention to the Bible, it's it's the homeboy story. It's never the God. You know who is the God? We are God walking around in the flesh. 
right? In order for me to create somebody in my flesh, I need a woman. A woman blows breath. That's not me anti nothing you're saying. That would be very disrespectful for me to I'm actually aim to shit on your, your religion or shit on your culture. I cannot do that. I know nothing of your culture, King. So I would not embarrass wait, and disrespect I'm and disrespect you in that aspect. And I think you have a misunder mis you have a misunderstanding pertaining to what everybody is stating. That's it's just what a matter of looking at the facts. That's Jermaine what, made a statement. That's what you a mean. fact. Jermaine's statement is a fact. I just piggybacked on that fact by saying proving that Shakespeare put his name in the book, prove it was a fire, and it's a contradictions in the book to actual nature. When man left the understanding inner over an understanding of nature, he clings to this all types of sort, sorts of things to gain his, his uh, security from Greek mythology to books on Rich. spiritual. How can Rich. you be spiritual finding a book? But Rich. this is my but, point. But, but Rich, but, but what is spirit? Point. Rich, what is spirit? I'm not vasting, I'm not vasting this, right? But spirit means breath, okay, right? Well, well, but spirit means me, breath, me... right? And breath and breath, who blows breath? I've recently learned this. Who blows breath? But see, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that that spirit is a breath. No, but that's what, what it I'm means. Saying, oh, listen. What does nature say? What does nature say? See, <laughs> see, nature, we went away from the understanding the language of nature. And so we take these secondhand books and claim things, which is nothing but programming back to the theme of the show. The theme of the show is programming. Whenever you look at something according to something, you are being programmed. I'll say it again. Whenever you look or live or take an action according to something, it, you are being programmed. That is the action of conditioning. If you look at nature and you look at what's written, the explanation is not the explain. So you will go on to the cows come home if, if somebody is telling you how to look at the sun, how to look at religion, how to look at spirituality. Look, whoever's a Christian or, or, or Islam or whatever, I have nothing against that. I'm just saying, but the facts of, of nature shows a contradiction. Because I'm not against the person who's a, who's, who's a Jew. or who's a, Because the person who's a Jew is the same reason he's a Jew because, because of the Islam. Islam is the same reason because somebody's a Christian, because they see life as being something more. This is just a path they chose. Now, we're all learning, but the theme of the show is programming. And programming is whenever you take an action according to something. But I'm, I'm aiming to figure out, right, if he sees all, he knows all, he's a righteous this and he's a righteous that and so on and so forth. Why are you fearing him? Hmm. See, because it's a book, it's a book of control and programming. This is why this is an excellent theme for this platform. Because you can't con the best way to conform, the best way to control is to create fear and guilt. There is no control without fear and guilt. You show me somebody that's not controlled, I show you somebody that has no fear. Somebody's free. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that you can utilize their own words to debunk to, to debunk them. Yeah, it's because it's their words. Let us create man in our own image. Every it is crazy to me. Every every male today know in order to reproduce, you need you a female. In a every female. plant that reproduce has feminine energy within it. That's right. Now, now, Jermaine, Jermaine, you said. Um, now, they can be debunked with their own words. I agree, 100%. Now, the question in the Bible is they say, let us. Now, when they say us, who else is there? What do they mean by us? <laughs> can I interject? <laughs> Great question, King. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Check this out. Check this out. This is, wait, that's Baba. Wait, Baba. Baba. Okay. Yeah, what, what, Rick? Hey, Baba. Okay. Hey, Baba, check this out. When Adam fell asleep, what did Adam say before he fell asleep? What did God say? Why did God make a woman for Adam? He said because he was lonely. But wait a minute. How can you be lonely? I can be but hold, but hold on, Bob. Hold on, Bob. How, how can you be lonely when ain't nobody there? 
Girl, we're talking about how, how can you, you know what lonely is? How can you miss something that you never had? How can you miss something that, that nothing had. was ever there? You're right. How are you gonna miss something you never had? Oh, uh, check this out. Check this out. Or oh, I'll come when Cain, according to the Bible, was banished from the um wherever the way. How come he went somewhere else and he got married? That's Belagi, I asked the same question a while ago in Genesis chapter 9, uh, uh, 1918. These three sons of, 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 of Noah and Ham and all of them had children and grandchildren and grandsons. Where were the women that had the, that they used to, to, pop, to populate the whole earth? Where were the women come from? Now you know where incest come from. Because, and you remember in one part, Shai was, was reading, he said that in the story that Noah was a husband, got drunk, laid down naked, and came Suppose this uncovered his grand his grandfather's nakedness. That was in that was a homosexual act. He said uncovered his nakedness, and that is biblical codes for having sex. Boom. What's going on that for him? So he screwed his granddaddy, who was drunk. And that's in the mythology. But my brother won't tell me it ain't. And where did Methuselah go and come back to the earth? Who was these Nippolines that came? The sons of God that saw the dollar men had babies by them. Where did they come from? Yeah, if I if I, I die on Friday, if I, I die on Friday and I come back, yeah, how can one man on Friday come back? What happened? Well, how can one man put all the animals on 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 a boat the size of a tugboat and and, and keep them for one year with with all that shit and them on that boat? How you gonna feed them and take care of them? If I die on Friday and come back three days later. I come back on Monday. Why I keep showing up on Sunday? That's what I, but that's another good question. <laughs> it has too many flaws in it. And like you were saying, yeah, Shakespeare names in that. And guess who else names in there? Apollo. Who's Apollo? Hmm. That's uh, that's uh isn't he Greek? Yeah, it's a myth, it's a myth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. and that's the name debunking the myth and lies of religion. But my brother got offended. Don't get offended. It's, it's when I hear intimidate and, I, and and Belagia, you got to get my number, man. We got to talk. I love your spirit. I do. You know, because you have me to understand always, always something because I'm trying to learn the Europe things how, the way. Well, we know it ain't Europe, but that's the name they gave to the people. You know, but a lot of us don't know this, and we need need to know this, that the real name of the people were not Yoruba. You no. can't go all ago. Because that was a name that was given them by some invaders. Wow. Who was Oduduwa? Who was this? Who was that? You know, we need that's them. Another, that's another topic for another day. <laughs> yes, sir, yes. Oh, Balaji, I'm, I'm going to go with that. So I think the point has been made, uh, King uh, Jermaine, that we've showed that the Bible is Jewish mythology. We have debunked it. We showed that it's a fabrication. It's a lie, and you live in the illusion of a lie. And like my brother Rich, I, I'm enjoying your book. It's all programming. That's it. All programming. If you follow the program, you're gonna finally run into a dead end. Mm -hmm. And I'll rest my case, because in the court of law, he'll say, "Won't stand up." And God said, "Why well, you know God said? What, what was the name of the God that said it?" Because there's 330,000 gods in the world. It's over 195 nations. Everyone got their own story. Why are you telling a mother man's story? You know, and you said, what is anti-Semitic? Well, in that same book, the one that they want to blame Nick Cannon for being anti-Semitic, well, hell, so was Jesus. Because according to the text in Revelation 9, uh, he said that Jews are liars of the synagogue of Satan. Two and nine. And in, well, in if, if the, in if the Jews life. call any, if the Jews call anybody anti-Semitic, they are anti-Semitic. Okay. They the, they kill Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, but remember, what does remember, that make you? remember, Bible, remember, Bible. Um, when the show first started, and and um, I said, um, you know, if we were talking about this um Hebrew term. Right or a Jewish term, all right. Right now, there was an Ashkenazim Jew, a professor. Um, sorry, a doctor. His name was uh, Dr. Maurice 
Fishberg, all right? right. And mm -hmm. he did his own research. And he, you know, he concluded that, you know, the Ashkenazims, you know, were not Semitic, that They're the not. original Semitic people were uh, Negroids or African in type. Right. And they uh, are also called Sephardim. And that Sephardim, what it simply means is um, Jews, but of African origin. Yeah. So well, you know, now, you know, we need to start asking questions. Who the hell are these Jews or so-called Jews of African origin? Well, you know, the funny thing about that, Balaji, is that you can't write the word Jew in the language. There's no J and there is no W because most of them can't use the word They say va. They don't say wa, they say va. Right. So so that is German. That's that's the asking, and they are Gentile are based on the story that if 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 Goma was the father of the Ashkenazi, they are the eyes of the Gentile, according to their biblical story. I had a dialogue with a rabbi lying there in Dallas at the end of faith, and he got mad. I said, he said, Well, how do you I said, how do you become a Jew? He said, My mother, they use the metrolinica and not the father. My mother said, I'm a Jew. <laughs> you can say the word Jew in the language. There's no J and there's no W. <laughs> Look, this word, this word Jew is short for jewelry because they're we descendants know, know because called. they're pirates. They don't we have, they don't have, they don't, if you look at it, they don't even have a land. No. Where is their land? Don't have they claim one. Israel. They claim Israel. That's Palestine. And they make the Bible a landy. How can you make the Bible a landy? Come on. But yes, this is why, this is the fight against the natives. Yeah, why is why is it called they, the state they, of they, Israel instead of the land of Israel? Why is it called the state of Israel rather than the land of Israel? Because it's part of the United States, called the Belfast Declaration of 1948. France, Britain, and America came together and took the land from the Palestinians and brought them Ashkenazis in there. Hey, check this out, family. If you're arguing over a lie. That argument never ends. And I yield the floor. <laughs> We're still talking. Okay, still, still you're not talking. What, what did the elder say in the beginning that the, the, the Bible is Jew, Jewish myth? And then in the end, what is he saying that these people, they're not, they're, these Jewish people, they're different people from the Sephardic people that Bologna was talking about. So we we spent two hours you speaking, and you've gone around in, in, in circles. Okay, when, okay. I tell you what you okay, do. Uh, okay, hey. let me say something. Let me say something. According to Atakos law, is a Askenazi Jewish man himself. Is God book called the Thirteen Tribes? Well, um, yeah. Well, uh, um, talked uh, about the history of the, the Jews. By, by Herschler. Yeah. I mean, by what's the name? Yeah, but let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, Sir, type this in your search engine. Jewish myth. Type it in. You got a computer. Type in the word Jewish myth and see what it says. Type in the word Jewish myth in your search engine. Don't take my word for it. Type the word Jewish myth. Please do and then read what it says. Type in the word Jewish myth in your search engine and read it for us. Man, I miss a lot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> in, uh, Rich, you can do it. Now I'm enjoying your book, Rich. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. Okay. Man. I'm learning. Type uh, the word Elder, myth. Uh, Elder, I, I, I could name you five. I don't need you. you. I want you to look at that. older than Jewish people. Look at the, the, the Jew, don't, Jew, don't judge. I'm I not dodging. No screen and yeah, read the Jewish myth. Because the Jews have nothing to do with the Torah. So why do I need to type something? They have not anything you, to I, do with the Torah. They, when the Torah was written, no, 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 no other people that are Jewish in Israel today, no there wasn't line. there. It has no timeline. How are you going to tell when it's written? It has of no course timeline. It has a timeline. Of course it, it has a timeline. What's the timeline on it? When did the world how, start according to the Torah? In the beginning, God created. What year was that in? What year, sir, was it yeah. when God said, "Let in the beginning God create a a What year was it when that was said? 
Asian people didn't count. They didn't count time like the way we count time now. I just well, give, us, give us time in a way where they kind of they give didn't count time. time. In, they didn't have a watch. They didn't count time like the way we count time now. No, I'm, you I'm not going to give you a date, sir. You Asian don't. People, if you do know, you have an Asian don't. culture. If you Asian know, people you don't. Don't. Like, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking like over each. You're talking over each other. You gotta let each other. Asian know. people. If you know, count, you I'm giving him answer. I'm giving him the answer. Asian people didn't count time like the way they didn't. They didn't have a twelve months calendar and counted time like the way we count. Time. How do you know? You were now. Yeah. How do you know? Just you for my logic. Just for my logic. If you have knowledge, you, you have wisdom. Logic. You oh, have knowledge. You it's just like know. Okay. Did, did we lose Shay? No, she had to go. She had okay. to go. Okay. Let me ask you this question. Based on biblical history, a call, who was Archbishop Ursher? James Ursher. He was the one that gave you the chronology of time for the Bible. He said in his writing, look him up, Archbishop James Ursa said that the world started in October the 23rd, 4004 BC. And I'm saying now, to you, I'm saying to you, I'm saying, to you, I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, that Archbishop guy is a, is a European white man and he's okay, gone. He said he your timeline starts with the Patriarch. He said your timeline starts with the Patriarch, goes back to Adam, and the world, and the world started. In 4004 BC, when you look at the, when you look at what anthropology uh, and, and 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 the geology, see the world is 4.5 billion years old. So where the hell did did, did Arsh, uh, Arsh, uh, get his timeline from? The, you're talking about carbon dating. Where the European takes oh, us to we'll go back. We'll go That's back what you're talking about. Five billion years. You're you're talking about pseudoscience. Seriously, we're having a debate. We're, we're having a, yeah, a debate on the on the Torah and Tanakh history, culture, and heritage. And you're bringing up, uh, you're you're bringing carbon dating. You're bringing nah, 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 uh, um, uh, um, um, Abraham, Abraham. Sorry, sorry. I, let me let me interject. Let me interject why, now. Why, now, why you take a let me interject. A you open guy takes a limestone. You can pick up a limestone. Let me let me interject. All right. Million, and then you pick up something else. From Green from my from from my years million. from my years of experience uh, um, um, researching, okay. Now, if you cannot put a timeline, and this is where I have to agree with Baba, if you cannot put a timeline on whatever you claim or on your presentation, if you cannot put a, a timeline, then you know we can't take that as a fact. I'm I'm going to answer the question. Uh, the, in China. Their oldest writing is 6,000 years or anywhere going, anywhere in the world is 6,000 years. Australia, anywhere you travel in the world, 6,000 years, years old. Since the, the timeline, 6,000 years old, we know that before the flood, the 40 days and 40, the, the flood, we know that be, be, we know that means that all of them got flood story. That, that means when the flood happened, it destroyed all the, rec all the records were, written records were destroyed. So 6,000 years ago. And we, we, um, we, and we know that Abraham lived 6,000 6, BC. Okay. My common sense, my common sense would say if there's a flood that this, this, this destroyed all the index, right? Where did these new index came from? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, King, good point. Now, he said the Chinese go 6,000 years. But the Chinese do right. not have an Albanese story in, in their cosmology. They all go flood story. Everyone's got flood story. But you, why you, you're, you're, you know, you're near a line. You're telling me all ancient civilization, everywhere you go, they have a flood story. Everybody has a Christian story, but Adam and Eve is not in all them Christian stories. No, Adam and Eve is not. No. No, the it's crazy, not there. The crazy thing to me is that it's the, Hawa the, and the, the, in West Africa, we have Hawa and Adama. Hawa, the, wo the woman. And Adama the man. Well, I'm kept going back again. So who who was Adama's first wife according to the according to the story? Isn't that Lilith? Lilith, right? Lilith. She's the first wife, so so and they was created equal according to the story, right? So what happened yeah. to her? What happened to her? Huh? Why did they do a second one? A he second trying, half he was, because he was trying to control her and she was not allowed. Yeah. Her. She wasn't allowed. yeah from and she wasn't allowed. And to, and to this very day, the Jew will not even speak her name. They fear Lilia because she's yeah. a demon. She's not a demon. She had just mm -hmm. had self-respect. You ain't going to 
talk me like that and say you're greater when I'm greater than you. And, and that's, that's the when the feminine went to the went from feminine to woman, which means female slave. What war man means female slave. And the and the Bible taught you to hate the woman and look down because the patriarch art took over the teaching and got rid of the matrix art. It doesn't say anywhere in the Bible. You're stating lies. Yeah, your problem. There it is. What are you stating lying for? You keep going to mm -hmm. that Bible, trying to it's mythology. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. timeline, no chronology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because African African people, we, we don't have time like that. Abraham, hold yeah. on, my nah, I'm, nah, I'm gonna ask. Nah. Listen, this has nothing nah. to do with no books. Abraham, nah, next nah. question. So if I, okay, I, I said something simple. My experience seeing the birth of my child, right? What in the book of the Bible debunks me seeing the birth of my child? You, you, you said you saw the birth of your child, and you said you're God. Since you're God, I want you to create a human being. You said you're God. I already so did. Human. I have two you. sons. I already no. did. It came through my wife. She's the woman. That's not creating. That is not so creating what is it? Being. So nah, why? That's I why. That's why. That's why it's called procreation. What yes. do you mean? That's not creating, King. Come on, King. That's you you have common, King. Being. You have common sense. In order to continue your oh. lineage, you need a woman to do so. Oh. Mm -hmm. Your God, you should talk. You should, you should talk. Call out the words. You what is a God? We can take it beyond. We can take it beyond religion. We can actually go into. You know what we could go into? We can go. We can take it deeper than this, right? Let's go into occultism. I love occultism. Let's go into occultism. We can take it deeper than that. What kind of mm -hmm. occultism? All these. All about? these. All the it's bro, only, everything, everything that the right. white man tell you is um is is bad for you is actually a part of you. From voodoo, go all the way back to to <laughs> old, to, uh, to to occultism. It bring it speaks about the deities, right? You call Listen. them Arishans, or goons, or shun, and so on and so forth. They are not to be. They are not to be worshipped. When you are a child, right? They're they're your guide. Jumin. When you get older, Jumin. right? Jumin, Jumin, Jumin. Don't talk about voodoo. You don't, you. Don't know anything oh. about Buddha. Oh my Don't talk God. About King, what you are you talking about? about? King, what, what are you, you about talking Buddha? about? King, what are you talking about? King, what are you talking about? about? King, what are you talking about? What's a ritual? You have... What do you mean? What do I know about Voodoo? What's a ritual, Tell... King? You don't know about Voodoo. King, what's a ritual, King? You don't know about Voodoo. King, are what's a ritual? Are okay. you initiated in Voodoo? Are you initiated uh, in Voodoo? My... Why should I be initiated to know about something? Let me let me let me ask let me ask the question. What are you talking about? Jermaine, um, Baba, um, Abram, uh, um, Abram, actually, I need to ask you a question, okay? Um, as Africans, West Africans, Aves, Ifes, okay, um, uh, what do you believe in? Uh, should I go first? No, um, Abraham first. Okay. What do you believe in? What do you believe in? You, my mic. I'm a West Africa. We, okay. We, we 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 don't have we don't have a belief system. The only thing we, we have is things that are tried and tested, things that we can prove. Show me something like when he's he's saying he's a god. Jamie said he's a god. If if someone's if someone's to die now, can he bring the person? Can he bring that person to life? I want him to bring go to the hospital and bring dead people to okay. life. Okay. 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 One more question. One. Sorry, guys. One more question. One more question, because um, I mean, from the beginning of the of the show, um, most of the things I've been hearing you say, it's like you are actually using this uh, the Torah as your support. Is the Torah something you believe in? Is it a document you believe in? It's not something they believe in. It's something that's been the tried and tested. Is our the heritage, our heavy heritage? That's yeah, but, but 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 Abraham, you you. You know, I, and I'm being honest now. I am, you know, being honest, okay? As West Africans, okay, we cannot prove that the Torah is our heritage. It, it's almost like the Torah is it's alien to us. Bolanji, Bolanji. You know, I'm, I'm our, just being honest now. I'm being honest. Bolanji, in our, the things we do, our feast days, our celebrations, the diff, different feasts we do, and 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 that we you can see to all our customs. If it, when you travel from Ghana to Sierra Leone, you can see it. Is there? Okay. Remember you said. Remember you said. You, remember you said it's a way of life. Yeah. 
Okay, so if it's a way of life, all right, um, how can you know how can the Torah be our way of life? How can it, in West Africa, if 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 like I, I've got a wife, I married my wife, and you 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 you, 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 were, you were having a you were sleeping with my wife behind my back. Mm -hmm. How do we how how do we prove that? You, how do, how do you, how will you, and then I bore it to the elders. And I said to the elders, you're sleeping with my wife, but I don't have no evidence, but I know you're cheating with my wife. How do you prove in the Torah and how do you prove in West Africa? Show, tell me. Now, from what I know, to do with yeah, from, from what I know, according to Yoruba culture, all right, what, you know, we do is we go to, to the priest, to an Ifa priest, and the Ifa priest will consult the gods. Or God, or and you know they will do whatever rituals, and the woman will be exposed. So now, how can you say that's the Torah for you know we you know West Africans? You understand? So I, you know I'm just trying to say that the Torah, what you actually call the Torah, okay, was. branded by someone else repackaged and it's like it's what you believe in so what makes you feel okay all those ancient practices of the evers okay what makes you feel it wasn't taken by someone else and repackaged as their own religion and that's what you believe in hey i'm i'm, I'm, okay, then. I'm saying to you in, in where i'm from if um if someone was sleeping, if I'm if I'm married woman sleeping with another man, even Yorubas and stuff, I talk to Yorubas and stuff, they will there's two things and I, I, I know there's two things they will do. So one I know one they they, they 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 will give you they can go in the bush the bushes and give you the man to drink the the the, 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 the leaf and when the man drinks the leaf is like his prostate his his balls will go large. That and like, after that some time, like, you, that sounds exactly. like voodoo. That sounds like voodoo to me. But um, that's but that's that's <laughs> the same thing. That's the same thing you find in the in the top. That's the same. I haven't finished yet. Let me finish. That's the same thing you find in the in 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 in. That's the the same thing you find in the Torah. And and no European jury went to Africa in 1400, 1500, 1600, 1700 and gave us this. So that's what I'm saying. That's, so that's why. So that's why I'm saying. What makes you feel? You know, our practices, our yeah. way of life, our spirituality. What makes you feel someone else didn't take it, rebrand it as theirs, and that's what you now believe in? Hey, hey, King. Can I can I say something? To you, I, I, I sure, someone, sure. I, I, okay. I this someone is, this, is something that belongs bro, to the me. same way. The same way they rebranded. The same way they rebranded Africa. The same way it right. was given. The same way it was given a name by African news, right? The same no, way Nigeria is. Fact, it's fact, it's, 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 it's facts, bro. It's, the same it's, way it's Nigeria was named off lies. of a, a European woman. That's a lie too, right? That, that's a lie. That's, that's a, a lie, lie too, right? Okay, yeah, but King, but the, King, the all right. I'm a, 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 yeah. Nah, no, come on. You're, 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 all right, so you're, no, 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 Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine is not lying. No, since I'm no, lying, Jermaine since I'm is lying, not right? lying. All right, okay. Jermaine is not lying. Since I'm Jermaine lying, right? is not lying. Is Europe still a part of Africa? <laughs> is Europe, is Europe, Asia, and Egypt are still a part of Africa? Europe, part of Africa. You, is Europe still one landmass with Africa along with Egypt and um and Asia? Show me the map. Show me the ancient map. Show bro, me the no. ancient map. Oh, Show bro. me the ancient map. You, 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 you go. You, you guys telling me to search for for stuff that I'm going but into. You're act, but you're what asking you question me? and you're telling me that I'm lying, King. You're of, telling me I'm lying. Of course, I'm, of course okay. I'm telling hey, you you're hey, lying. You're telling hey, me Africa is named after a white man. It is. It is. It is. It Have is African uh, news. You... Who who else is it? Afri Africana. 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 Like, yeah, like who else is it? The the Africa. ancient Africa. the ancient name the ancient name of the continent. All right, the continent was known as Alkabulan. 
Akubilan. Exactly. All the Congo. Akubilan. Okay. All right. Akubilan. Right. Right. Yo, King, let me answer the question you asked oh, earlier, King. Um, What I believe in, right? I believe in, I believe that everything that we search for outside of us is within us, right? Yeah. We have, we have what, 3.6 trillion cells within us as vast as the star. We are the universe, right? They, they deter us from, from who we actually are. I can sit here and everybody on this platform could sit together and manifest the same thing and bring it forth. Everything we speak, we bring forth to life, right? I believe nature show us what it really is. We are energy. We are vibrational beings. We're not mm -hmm. even solid. We're not even solid matter. We're vibrational yep. beings. It's mm -hmm. because we're on. We're in the, the the what's this? The third, the third dimension. In the so, third dimension of so matter. Yeah. Matter. Yes. So we can only see things, right? The way we see things. Mm -hmm. But in order to transcend, not only while we're sleeping. We have, to, we, have to, we have to raise our vibration because there's an invisible barrier around this. But we cannot, mm -hmm. raise our vi we cannot raise our vibration by eating poison and running away from, uh, running away from the earth. We are more yeah. in tune with nature than anybody else. We see twice as more. We feel twice as more. We vibrate twice as more. The sun is not our enemy. Mm -hmm. We are our own enemy. And they use not mm -hmm. only doctrines... To create enemies among us, to, for us to also dislike ourselves, and they dampen our actual godlike powers. King, when I said we're a god, King, it's obvious you see it. Like even in Ephaism, the breath, yeah. right? The breath comes from the woman. But in society mm -hmm. today, men speak like they're above the woman. Every man has a mother. And no <laughs> matter his issue, no matter his issue, the first person he cries upon is his mother. Mm -hmm. First hand. So how can you disrespect your mom, right? That's you disrespecting yourself. And Talk for to us to, to and for us to call ourselves blacks and we're this and we're that is a disrespect to our ancestors. We're indigenous to this land, this, to this country, this, to this thing called Earth. It's a disrespect to our ancestors. And we are all programmed because we all read secondhand information. And I say it's opinion because it's not mine. Yeah, you can go on the internet and search and prove it because they make it that way. Well, you know what's you know what's you know what's dangerous when I sit in here and meditate and tap into myself. And you can feel my it. you can feel my energy when I walk in the room. Where does they tell you? Where do they tell you about that in the Bible? Now let me come in. Let me come in, Jermaine. Um, I love what you say. Um, and uh, as a Yoruba and as a, an Ifa practitioner, um, I can definitely relate with what you say. Now, when you say we are gods in Ifa, Ifa says we are all sons and daughters of the Orishas. Now, the Orishas, all right, are the manifestation of the One. And when I say the One, I mean Olodumare, who other cultures might call God, okay? So, uh, you know, when you say we're gods, yes. Yes, we, 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 we are gods because we are a manifestation of the children of the gods. So definitely that makes you a god. And the power, you know, or the proof that shows that, yes, we are gods, it comes through conception, and procreation the ability to able to bring life through a woman it, it makes you a, a god also i say i say to that king you know what the, the crazy thing too like even in the even in the bible it says it right yeah. you're, you're what you're a wool um skin of skin of brass bronze whichever way you want to put it whatever way you want to put it in context he made you're made in his own image so yeah that that falls into play with every single thing yeah and and it's the reason why i'm telling um abraham like uh you know uh if you're holding on to the torah you know if that's what you believe in you know that's fine with me you know that is fine with me you know but but i cannot relate with the torah but i definitely can relate with whatever ifa says 
that's for me. All right. Like in the Bible, the Bible says um, God created man. He created man from the dust. Now in Ifa, it says Obatala. In Yoruba, Obatala is known as Alamori, meaning right. the creator of my head. My head. The, the, the one that created my head that formed me from the dust or from the mud. All right. So I can definitely relate with that, okay? Because in Ifa, Obatala makes um, the the man from the dust or from the mud, and Le Dumare breathes air or gives it spirits, and the being comes into life. Right. That I can relate with. Yeah. There is there is so many there's so many things that they try to they try to force on us and and allow us to believe like like take the terminology African American for instance like utilizing two different continents as an identity but if you go beyond that you would be beyond that it would say like hey you were the natives right so why if they claim the the victor right history right why would the victor if you're the, if you, if you're the victor why would you want to actually decimate a people ancient teachings and knowledge of themselves no losers write history because mm -hmm. they know how powerful we are and one, and, and that's the thing with us we're too divided cuz once we come together that's where our power is the kryptonite for them is us uniting it doesn't matter what you believe it doesn't matter if you're Christian, I'm I'm Muslim, or whatever. Do we have one accord? Can we ride for one thing? And that's for the benefit of our people. Yes, we have different ideologies, but can we stay oh, on oh, the same oh, oh, trip? The oh, same okay, train. Jimin, to benefit our Jimin, 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 I'm from West Africa. We follow laws, and uh, then we have taboos. If in, in, in my culture it says you shouldn't steal. And then you you you're claiming you're Native American. I'm not Native American. I'm not from America. From the Americans, how could me and you come together and ride for a cause, for any cause, when in my culture is a is a law that that is a taboo that I shouldn't steal. I shouldn't sleep with another man's wife. And your your culture, you saying that uh, you and Rich Lamar saying that uh, you can you 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 go by nature. Nature tells you what to do. You know, nature tells you what what to do. What is nature telling you to, to do? Tell me king, what nature is telling you. King, to do. king, yeah, king, king. Let me ask you a question. You're in Africa, right? Yeah. Isn't isn't nature around you? The the air you're breathing comes from what? If you chop all the trees down, there's no trees in in West Africa. I ask your that air. That, I ask your question. I'm answering I, your question. I'm answering you your question because question. You, I, king, you, you, speak, you speak you speak par you speak in parables, king. I'm not speaking you're, in parables. I, you are speaking, speaking in. We're all humans. No, okay, all right. to divide us. So, so, so come together, that. right? In so my, come together, in, right? Yeah, in, in my culture, it says that my grandma, my granddad, my mom, my dad, I believed with my grandma, my grand uh, mom, my, my, my mom and dad. And they, and they, and they tell me that. You got a middle block. You're not, that, I'm, not, that, I'm not trying to get through to him. For, for me to sit here you and try to convince him would be and, asked and, nine on my And part. you're telling me by nature. Nature doesn't tell me not to stew. King, nature King. Does not okay, let's speak. Let, let, let's focus on what you're saying. You say how we gonna come. You say how we gonna come together, right? Yeah, you say I'm how we gonna come in, together. In, in, in my culture, because we in, have two in, different. I'm native. I'm, I'm native, in, and you're yeah. you're African, right? And, yeah, and you, you guys exactly have you guys have laws. You guys have laws. Yeah. Well, let's have yeah. it. We're having we're having a reflective conversation. You guys yeah. have laws, right? Yeah. Okay. Of course, we have laws. All right. So if a man you know what kingdom whatever, is? do you know what kingdom is? Can I answer your question, please? Yeah. Okay, so how can we come together? The same reason we're coming together right now. You came together, you call this a debate. I call it a conversation of learning. We're together right now, right? We're on one accord. We're, we're, we're speaking to each other, right? The same issues that you have in West Africa is transpiring in the U.S. The same doctrines that they have in the U.S., you guys have it in West Africa, because you know why? And I could quote you. We, we was on a live before, and you said, the kids, when they go to school, they read the Bible. But when they're home, they practice their culture. That came from you. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. so we have the same doctrines you have in West Africa, 
right? So my point that I was making was, if you remove all the trees, that carbon dioxide or whatever you want to call it, air that you're breathing, you would die. That's nature. Man is living on the earth. If nature decides, say, hey, we're going to have a hurricane tomorrow and we're going to, te we're going to tear everything apart. Guess what? Flesh that's walking on the earth is dead. That's how powerful nature is. You're, you're beneath. We all are beneath nature. If the sun, if the sun decided to take a day off, guess what? We breathe. We die. We die. If you don't take herbs, if you don't take herbs to so the pot, the poison that these Europeans put on you, right? Guess what? Not only you clog your order, but you kill you, break your body down. So nature plays a very prominent role in everything we do today. And we are disconnected from nature. When here's my question to you: When was the last time you actually walk outside barefooted to connect it to the earth and sun gaze, to align yourself to the essence of the earth? You won't let him do it. You're you're you muted yourself. You're muted. In this December, January, December, January, as in Africa. December, January. 19, January. 19, yeah, in December. I was in Africa. We're doing it. You're seven months away from You're supposed to do that at least once a week, King, to align yourself. Because everything throws your energy off. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm saying to, you're saying to me everything to throw my energies off and stuff. Or the, the, the thing you're saying, to, I don't need... To walk around in my my I don't need to walk around my bear in my in my bear even in ancient time in Africa people wore shoes you understand that's we're not, not what I'm saying not, you're missing what I'm saying you're missing the point yeah. you're, you're me, missing me, the me, point me, me 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 wearing shoes or not wearing shoes is not gonna throw me off King everything that's, that's right, in that's the, that. everything that's in the earth is in your body a perfect example in West Africa um I love um do you guys eat with your hands. Oh you yeah. Do, do you know do you know eating with your hand vibrates your senses on a more powerful level versus you eating with a fork, a metal uh -huh. fork because it's separating your it's separating your your um your connections from the actual I, I, food. I agree with you um um Jermaine because eating with your hands actually it um aligns you with nature. That's the point I was trying to make, King. That's the point I, I wanted to yep. make. So if I stay, yeah. if I take, I wear shoes but, but every day. You mean, you mean, you mean, even in ancient time, when you go in Africa, because they, they, if they dig, dig around, they will find a spoon. They will find people having spoon. They will made, have made people out of having things that they're using. Made out of what? Well, wood, wood. Made out of wood and what? And what else? Uh, clay, right? No, uh, like, 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 it's not just wood and clay. They, they will probably have silver, different things. Because okay. you are not primitive people. You okay. think that we're, you think well, we're permanent people because the you Europeans, they maligned us. Where do you they, get primitive from? No, 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 I never Jermaine. said, I, no, I never no, said, I never said, that. I never said primitive. Abraham, I never said that. Abraham, you know, Abraham, you know, one of the powerfulest minerals come from Africa, the cell phone, the cell phone that everybody using, the cell phone you're on. What's the Coltain? name of the mineral? Exactly. You know, you know, many people die in Africa for, the, for that, for this mineral that they use in the U.S.? Yeah, cocaine. That's come from Earth, right? Diamonds come from Mother Earth, right? I'm I'm saying that according to your European standard. Your my, European standard. Your, I'm not European. Uh, not come on, standard. Abraham. Come it's on. My, yo, you your, know what I noticed? Your, your own thoughts forces. You and, you, and on, you, know, you, know nah, nah. you know what I noticed? You know what I noticed with you? Process. You know what yeah. I noticed with you? You know, you've been discontinued from your heritage. You know, I'm just, nah, nah, you know, nah, I'm nah, just, nah, bro, nah, nah, bro, nah. bro, listen, bro, listen. That's one thing. Let me tell you something. I was born in Jamaica, right? And trust me, there's nothing closer to heritage than me. Like, if my mom come over right now, guess what? She cooks every day. Sun there's Sunday dinner. Everybody sits at the table, and we 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 sit down and chop it up. We follow our heritage. We don't we don't stray from it. Is has it been altered? Has it been altered? Yes. Am I still learning? Yes. Right? Because like 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 King stated earlier, bro, I was raised in a Catholic church. They baptized me in a Catholic church. <laughs> my, mom my mom introduced me to the Bible. And this was this was in Jamaica. There's no other country in the world that has more church than Jamaica. 
And that's a fact, right? All different types of religion is there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Jermaine, what, what is wrong with I-M-M-E-L-I-S-O-N? I-M-M-E-L-I-S-O-N. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with what? I-M-M-E-I-M-M-E-L-S-I-O-N. Emission in the water. What is what you so called baptism? What is wrong with that? It, yeah, it means emission, emission, emission. Being immersed in water. Being immersed in water, thing. like like yeah, like yeah. like when John baptized Christ. That's, What's wrong with that? Ritual, that's a ritual. That's a source. I think of initiation into the Catholic uh, whatever religion. That's a, that's called initiation. But I never said. Do, I never said. Do, I never do, said. Do, I never said nothing was wrong. Do, with do, you know why? You know why? Do you know? Do you know why? Do I know the origin? Yeah, why Com from? common sense would tell me came from the woman because kid, my child was submerged in her fluids before he actually came into this world. Ashe, no, that's not the origin of it. That that's, that's the only bat that's the only no, baptism that's the only baptism I believe in. Because what does a baptism do for you? So you're telling me a blood and, and blood and water is the same thing. Blood, no. blood is within me, King. Blood is within me. Right, and they they, they, the they drink thing? they drink wine they drink wine and eat crackers as bread and flesh as blood and flesh in the church, but they behind closed door they go and drink real blood. Right, he don't you know that you don't, don't know that, that. you don't, don't know, know that. that. Uh -uh. But, but I'm I'm not talking about the church. I'm not here to talk about the church. I'm here to talk you're, about you're, you're, no. Church. You're trying to find conflicts within things that I am saying and everybody else is saying. And honestly, King. It says so within the Bible. Don't lean on your own understanding. And this thing, yeah. and this thing yeah, that but, we do, we yeah, aim but, to, but. we aim to look, we aim to look important, right? Our 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 aim to look important at times. Make us look foolish. Make us look foolish. Asinine because we fail to learn something in the concept. I did not disrespect nothing about your culture. In fact, I would love to learn about your culture. I never, you're trying to put me into a corner and put words in my mouth. You're very smart for that, but it's not going to work with me, right? You can't put words in my mouth because I stay on a balanced plane because I'm not attached to this. Because at the end of the day, guess what? I have to go around respect and love who I need to respect and love. And then this flesh decays and get old. Where does the energy goes back to? It goes back to the universe, mother nature. Right, we're all electric, are we not? Electromagnetic energy, cosmos. So come on, King. I would never, I would never say stuff like that to put you into a corner. Then you didn't say that. And you're very, you're very intellectual, but you're trying to use, you're trying to use the, and that's the same thing that the Europeans do. They deflect and use things. <laughs> I've not so deflected. I've I've not deflected. I've about my, my, my culture. I've not deflected in King, one. In what's one the term. all right here? Well, we're gonna switch this. Yeah. We're gonna switch this scenario. What's the most beautiful thing you love about your culture? The most beautiful thing I, I love on my culture. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll say the, the the way we respect adults, the way we respect our uh, adults, and the way we take care of ad, our ad, the the old people, the, the old the old people, and the way we like when a stranger comes and visit you, you give him a room to sleep, and you give him food to eat, and you treat him with respect until they leave. Okay. And and when they come, and we, we will never like because in Islam, in in, in Islam and Christianity, someone will, will try to recruit you into our way of living. King, Jermaine, because it's no religion. This yes, is Baba. I'm 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 gonna have to break away. I've, I've yeah, got I'm to. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna we end we it. should end this. Yeah. I'm gonna end After it because uh, we've been almost Elijah, three hours. Elijah, man, I, I've enjoyed the the relationship and the feeling. And to my to my brother, uh, sir, hopefully one day we can really sit down and have a heart to heart because you uh, you're strong, but you need you need you need to check your sources and realign yourself. And that's from me to you. Uh, much respect, no disrespect. Much respect to you, and I thank you for the dialogue. I learned a lot. We were able to share. And I wasn't not trying to embarrass you. I'm trying to bring a thought out. 
the whole thing about the Bible, that Bible, that what well, Torah, you're talking about mythology, whether you like it or not. But a let you know, everybody come up, even Rick, let you know, you don't accept that's up to you. But I, I was where you were one day, and I had to come out of it when I began to read and find out it did not align it with nature and my spirit. I had to come out. Like my brother Balaji, I came back to Ifa. I was I was a Christian minister, ordained bishop and elder for 30 years. I was raised in it. But one day in 73, I had an awakening and it said that I was on the right, wrong path. I, I and I fought it for 10 years. And uh, in 83, I began to become more familiar with Ifa. I got initiated into, into the Ifa culture. And I began to try to study and learn all I can learn. And I remember, I, I'm, I, I am no scholar, but what I've learned, I appreciate. And I love to consult in, with Opele, uh, the, uh, the Obata, and talk to my ancestors and the Orishas. And guess what? I live a stress-free life. If I got a problem, I throw, I divine. Yep. Guess what? And it guides me every day. And I know for sure that the E5 definition is 98.9% .9 on point. It ain't oh, yeah. missed yet. It ain't missed yet. Yep. So I embrace that. I'm living with that. And I'm known as the only prophet in my time of truth and, and, and visionary because I divine. I consult. I get my answers. I ain't got to pray. I consult. And if you look into the Torah, they consult. They use it's called Ewan Theorem. They consult it with the stones. Those so-called stones, they cast those stones from the epod. And they now, like and I they, said, that's that's another discussion for another day. But um, me and Baba, <laughs> I think we need to um connect. Yeah, okay, yes, sir. But I'll be we're gonna get together. Uh we'll get you my number. We're gonna talk off as well. I wanna know more. I wanna get to know more from you. Ashe. I share. I share. Okay, most hey. pay. Oh, uh, uh, I've got to go uh, and get out of here. Hey, hey, wow. Kings. hey, Kings. I want to say gratitude for being gratitude. a part of the show. Um, I know Odabo. I'm, Odabo, I know I'm missing. Odabo, I'm laughing, uh, Odabo. I know I'm missing a portion of it due to interruption, but I want to say gratitude for you guys taking the time and bringing forth your energy to not only teach us something, but to connect. And for those of you out there that would like to participate on future lives, I say um, send a friend request at King Jermaine on Facebook. Um, on Twitter, go ahead and like and follow at Mental Roller Deck. On IG, Mental Roller Deck. On YouTube, like and subscribe at Mental Roller Deck. Kings, gratitude and also, um, if you're on if you're on Facebook, we're gonna send you a request and get you the information to chop it up with Baba. All right, Balaje. All right, definitely. Um, I'll I'll send you a, fr a friend request on Facebook. Hey, sorry. Love as usual, King, and gratitude for being a part of the show. Peace out. Thank right. you for allowing me to come on, on the show. No problem, King. Have a great one. Bye. All right, thank you, Jermaine. You're welcome, King. All right.